goddamn right. And that's the bottom line, cause so cold. the line. Habitually. He's a habitual line stepper. Access denied. GTD stand. Man, you are in a court of law. There are a lot of people in here. We can't hear you. Your Honor, you're gonna have to make them speak up. What does GTD stand for? Got the draws, okay? 
Yeah, he got the draws. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear it. When I start selling pussy, I don't want to hear nobody say shit. When you see me on the corner, bitch, mind your business. Order. 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 What it do, baby? You were cold as ice. He's on fire. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. Hey man, me and guy just down here checking out some fly rides and macking some holes and chilling. Imagine that. It's like a G-Dog on a fly tip. Flossing with the pussy. Cutting in the crib. What the fuck does that mean? Hey man, I don't want to beat your ass, but I will beat your ass. Acknowledge me. I don't care, Esther. Esther, 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 Because Esther, because you were being rude. Goddamn right. Acknowledge me. There we go. There we go. Now y'all can hear me. There you go. Now y'all can hear me. Let me see salute in the chat to make sure y'all can in fact hear me. My microphone was off at first. I'm not going to let that stop me. <laughs> let me see salute in the chat to make sure you guys can in fact hear me. You should be able to hear me now. I will wait. Let's see. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Y'all should be able to hear me now. Okay, y'all can hear me now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, salute to you. Project Libra, I see you. Big Odie, I see you. Stevie D, I see tip. you. Let's see. Game Zad, I see you. I'm Divine Photos. Let's see. Uh, Theo, 
We, there we go. Okay, cool. Y'all can hear me now. I apologize for that. Salute in the chat to make sure you guys can affect me. Y'all can hear me now. Let's see. What the hell? Welcome to Death Row. I see we struggle streaming already today. Let's see. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. Y'all should be able to hear me now. Y'all should be able to hear me now. I had some microphone issues. We good now. Theo, let nothing stop you. I won't, Alexander. I won't. <laughs> Maggie ate the mic again. Oh, God. Let's see. Let me see, know if you guys can hear me. I'm, I'm seeing mixed messages. Let me see. Salute in the chat to make sure you guys can, in fact, hear me. You should be able to hear me now. I was having some technical issues. We should be good. Bang! Bang! It's Uncle gone! Diggity says loud and clear. My God. Goddamn right. Let me see. Yo. <laughs> I'm talking about this Maggie. Oh, my God. I forgot about her old, old girl in a pissy mattress. I don't have time for those shenanigans today. Let me see. Let me see. Let me grab these super chats real quick. Let's see. The mic still ain't recovered. Somebody said that's funny. Let's see. Salute to. We have here. Salute to from downtown 296. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Appreciate you, bro. Salute to you, man. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Salute to the homie from downtown 296. Always kicking in, man. Appreciate you, bro. Mr. Never Too Much says, Do Better Squad Cleveland chapter reporting for duty. Salute to you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Never Too Much. Great to have you, man. Appreciate you from downtown 296 with the $5 drop. Thanks for the Salute tip. Salute to the homie Fred Turner with the five bucks. What you got, Fred? I got five. Listening from work. Salute you all. Big Odi Alexander. Salute, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, Fred Turner, man. Make sure I hit the like button on the way in. Salute to Lady of Class, Lope. What you got, Lope? What it do, baby? Lope said this powerful nigga stream for two go two gooch crew. I'm telling you, something on my, my microphone. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, yeah. There is powerful niggardry at work here. Salute to you, Lope, channel member, for six months. Let's see. Salute to the homie, Rakai Media. Hide the money, y'all. Hide the money. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. Pissy mattress is this why we got the yellow box next to us. To no, she that is not the, that is not the same thing. Salute to you, Record Media, our show sponsor. What you got, bro? Shout out to General Theo Coop and the Do Better Squad working and watching. You know how it goes. Facts. You're goddamn right. Salute to you, Record Media, our show sponsor. <gasps> Woo! Salute to you, Record. I'll get you updated in one second. Let me grab these other super chats real quick. Let's see. I got this one here from Loke. Let's see. Salute to Aaron messed up. What you got, Aaron? Aaron says, I got some bad news for you. You fucking <laughs> Salute to you, Aaron. Ah, oh, man, let's see. Yep, I got it right here, bro. I got it right here. Got some bad news for you. You fucking done, son. It's over. Salute to you, uh, Aaron messed up. Let's see. Appreciate you, bro. With a channel member for eight months. Welcome let's to see. Salute bro. to... Pinball Play 65 with the final Super Chat. What you got, bro? After Friday show with Maggie, are you okay for today, bro? <laughs> AC says, salute, Theo, salute, AC. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm good, man. I was mad about that because my microphone kept going out right in the middle of the piss. That's what I was mad at. <laughs> I couldn't really clip it because I, uh, I was laughing so hard at that shit, man, but y'all couldn't hear it. I was too busy knocking everything over over here. You know what I'm saying? We would make it work. Salute to you, Welcome Pitbull. To death, Appreciate you for the five bucks. Salute to the homie Jay Nelson, channel member for 10 months. He says, that, hat, that hat's fire. Much love to you, everybody in here. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate it. Salute to you, Jay Nelson, and your arm. Hey, Jay Nelson, <clears throat> your baby damn near grown now can vote. Salute to you, Jay Nelson, and that uh, <laughs> teenager you got now. Salute to Long Ranger just subs yeah, Long Ranger just subscribed. Salute. Hey, salute Appreciate you, LR. Let's see. Salute to the homie Norville Holmes. He says, I eat gooch. I cook. No, we're not starting that shit. <laughs> we're not starting that shit, bro. What do I have to do to show you? I just ate your gooch. I suck your dick. I swallow your nut. I eat your ass. I suck your toes. I lick your whole body. I eat your ears. I lick on your body. I cook. <laughs> A.D. Blackman says, Theo was pissed. Her mattress was pissed off. Know what it is with A.D. Blackman? It was that. I blind. I didn't know that shit was coming. If I would, <laughs> I should have prepared myself and knew that was coming, bro. She was just, oh yeah, I'm just on a pissy mattress. Took me out, man, and my microphone. But forget that, eighty black man. Stop distracting me. I need you guys to do one thing for me. I need to see locations in the chat. <laughs> Dominique says Friday was crazy. Yeah, man, I, it was crazy, bro. It was, it was up and down, kind of crazy show. Let me see locations in the chat. Your boy Theo's broadcasting live from Detroit, Michigan. That's the Midwest part of the United States of America. It is currently nine a.m. Eastern time. 
approximately 39 degrees and mostly cloudy. Let me see those locations in the chat. Where y'all watching me from? Are you in goddamn Alaska, Australia, uh, Venezuela, the Middle East, somewhere in Afghanistan? If you're in a cave in Afghanistan with shitty Wi-Fi, let me see your locations. <laughs> locations in the, in the chat. Let's go. Let's get it, man. We ain't here on a Monday. Praise Godzilla. Oh. <laughs> locations in the chat. Locations in the chat. Let's go. Yo, let me know, squad. Where y'all watching me from, man? Let's get it. Let's get it. <gasps> Let's see. Where we at? She cooks, too. We got the homie Terry from Milwaukee, bruh. Hey! Hey! Is it Terry? It's oh, Terry looks like she's a young lady. I used to have a Milwaukee drop, Terry. Nobody from Milwaukee was in here. <laughs> I had my man. I had that. I forget. I forget. I did pro not Project Pat. Who was my man? Um, I can't think of his name. In my projects. Cuckoo cow. That's what it was. Let's see. Stop distracting me, Terry. Let's see. Let's see. Where we at? Where we at? We got London in the house. We got Clemson in the house. We got Chicago in the house. Salute to you, Project Leroy. Let's see. Where else we got? We got Cleveland. We got Baltimore. We got Charleston, South Carolina. Let's see. Where y'all watching me from? Dwayne says, Hampton, VA. Salute to you, bro. We got Sparkwater here in Queens. We got Mr. Guap in Hartford, Connecticut. We got Toronto in the building. Salute to all my neighbors in the north. Fred Tur Turner says he's in Louisville. Salute to everybody in Kentucky. Hey, Theo, ain't it a blessing? We made it out Kentucky after all that happened. We got Maryland in the house. We got Melrose Park at the office. Salute to you, Ricard. Hold us down, man. E305 says Miami, Dade County. 305. In my yo Accusations. Salute to you, E305. Let's see. We got Elk Cole, Nevada. Salute to you, Sir Roast a lot. Let's see. We got from Georgetown, Georgia, currently driving to Savannah, Georgia. Salute to you, South 343. Let's see. We have Boulder, Colorado. Salute to you, Sir Charge. We got Grand Rapids in the house. We got Cleveland. I'll do it one time. One time for the land. Cleveland! This is for you! I love that Cl Cleveland drop. Lady, uh, Lady Class Loke says, Seattle, Washington. My party's on Broadway. What Jerry says, he's watching from Dallas. Jerry, I got a question for everybody in the great state of Texas. Simple question. Uh, now what uh, y'all know about them Texas boys? I knew Pooh Man 313. Alizations! Salute to you, bro. Salute to the homie, uh, Alexander X. Alexander's early as hell in Sacramento, but Alex, we here rocking with your boy every day. Salute to everybody out in Cali. Salute to you, Alexander. Let's see. Chance is in L.A. Salute to you, Chance. Ready to get time now. Salute to you. Yeah, bro. Somebody, they was timing you out like crazy. Man. I had to tell moderators, relax, bro. Let's see. <laughs> Salute to you, uh, Chance. Let's see. We got Baltimore now. Salute to you, DeMarco23. Thoughtsville, USA. What are you talking about, bro? EZ430 says, Orlando. Salute to you, bro. Salute to this, a lovely city of Orlando, man. We got Sacramento in the house. We got Brooklyn in the house. Salute to you, Divine Photos. Let's see, where else we got? Pinball player represent Tampa. Salute to you, bro. Team Peterson. I know you checking in. Checking in from, uh, was it, Mecca? Saudi Arabia. <laughs> we moving, TP. We moving. Oh, my. Where the hell is my plaque? YouTube, run that <gasps> shit. <gasps> Lewis is live from the SIP, man. Salute to everybody in the great state of Mississippi. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see the locations in the chat. Where y'all got Dallas is going down, man. We got Cincinnati in the house. Salute to you, Derek. Let's see. <laughs> this is for you. I love that drop. I'll do it again. Cleveland! This is for you! I don't necessarily like Cleveland. I love that Cleveland drop. <laughs> Salute to you, Young Jay. I think Young Jay was our show sponsor this past Friday. Salute to you, Young Jay. Cleveland in the great state of Ohio. Fuck Toledo, though. Toledo can eat a dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Toledo's okay. I like how we just all bombed on Toledo one day. And nobody was offended. I appreciated it. Make sure I hit the like button. Share the content. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And Theo be up here trying to do something. I was about to talk a whole bunch of shit about how great I am at this. But then I thought, nah. Access denied. Nigga, your mic didn't work to five minutes ago. <laughs> Salute to you, young know, Jay. Let's see. We got Huntsville, Alabama. Salute to you, uh, good game. Let's see. Represent Bama. I got you right here, man. Let's get the show started. Let's get the show started. Make sure I didn't miss any... Uh, Comments. Roll Tide. Hidden Gems is coming in from Dallas. Ant Antoine says Jersey. Salute to you, Tone. Let's see. All right. Make sure I didn't miss more Super Chats and we can get into it. We got some nonsense today for y'all. Some nonsense. Definitely going to be good. At least I hope it is. Let's see. Salute to you, Norvell. Let's see. Goddamn. Hey, I should have never, never gave you Ninja's Gooch. Let's see. Thanks for the Toledo tip. needs friends. Uh, Sir Charge says, how can I join the channel memberships? One of the moderators, point Sir Charge in the right direction. We'll get you uh, part of the squad, man. Whiskey and Smoke, what's going on? Trying to join YouTube University and monthly membership. Advice? 
try to join YouTube monthly memberships. The do you mean started having? I'm sorry, whiskey and smoke. Do you mean joining our channel membership, or are you just saying in general how to, how to, to get channel memberships for your yourself? Uh, let me know. I think uh, Project Leroy, one of the moderators, just dropped a link to the channel membership, and you know what? I'll go ahead and pin it right now. Because I don't think I have anything pinned. Yeah, I got a pin right now if you guys need to join the channel membership. Appreciate you, Project Leroy, for dropping that link for everybody. All right, salute to you, bro. Appreciate you for the $2. Let's see. Salute to Almond Oz. Almond Oz says, happy, happy, uh, hey, y'all. Happy Monday. Salute to you, Almond Oz. Ninjas in Toledo still wearing Jabos. <laughs> <laughs> right, Young Jay? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> so don't see you, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Make sure one of the moderators, please drop the link to Almond Oz <laughs> channel. <laughs> Thank you for the $2, Almond Oz. Hope everything is going well with you. Kevo Spar Stark says, peace from Minnesota via Chicago. Salute to you, Kevo. Great to have you, bro. All right, let's get it started. That's your boat. That's your weird boat. It's funny to me, man. Salute to you, Almond Oz. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Thanks Salute to Retired Media, our show sponsor. I'm going to get you updated in one second. All right, let's get to the content. Make sure I hit the like button, share the content, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you guys need to join the channel membership, I have it pinned to the top of the chat. All right, let's get it. First video I have here, uh, let's see, is from, uh, what was the first thing I had here? Oh, we got some airport cam. We got some airport cam. Y'all know me. I already got started off. I got to start off with some fuckery first. We got some airport cam. Mom loses kids, then destroys the airport. I believe that this is the clip that went viral. That I believe Pink Book Lessons did a story on this about a year ago, maybe a little less than a year ago. I think it was in Florida. I could be wrong. I could be getting my states mixed up. But this chick loses her kids at the airport. And instead of looking for her children, she just acted like a three-year-old and tore the place to pieces. Let's get it. Hit the like button, people. Hopefully somebody gets tased. I hope so. Where was the last place that you saw them? What are they? What are, what are your kids wearing? How are they dressed? She open here. I want my fucking children. Don't give me my fucking child. I say, yo. She say, yo. I said, excuse okay. me. She's like, excuse me. Were you here for that? Yeah. On December 20th, 2022, Miami-Dade officers were called to the American Airlines terminal due to a woman experiencing an extreme meltdown. After falling asleep, her children went to the bathroom, and upon waking, she was alarmed to find. The Let me know if y'all remember this. I remember. I remember this going viral, and I remember Pink Book Lessons doing a story on this. Let me know in the chat if y'all remember this. Missing. In her urgency, she sought help from the desk agents, but they were unable to leave their posts. Overwhelmed with frustration and panic, she went on a rampage, causing Maybe significant alcohol. damage to airport equipment and even attacking airport staff. <laughs> You guys got uh, the information of the gate agent? No, like they're they're still they're all pretty shook up. We didn't get any information. Yeah, you guys are Okay, so we called the planner. There was another agent, Moody, at another gate that called the police. Okay. Okay, so she walks up. She walks up. Is, is, did she do all that? Yeah, baby. Look at okay, hold on. Okay, no, just leave it like that. I'm going to take pictures of it. We don't know anything she, about her. She walks up. Right behind the counter. She opened. She yeah. Flight. She opened here. I want my fucking children. Don't give me my fucking child. I say, yo. She say, yo. I said, excuse okay. me. She's like, excuse me. Were you here for that? Yeah. We okay. were working so with we're going to need your information. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just side of that. You want to take pictures? You want me to take pictures? Or you want to take pictures? Yeah, I can take pictures. <laughs> Huh? I'm sorry? You need us to call fire rescue for you? Okay. To get a fire rescue. Yeah, because she Service calls Gary supervisor on Ma'am, can you start me fire rescue to gate D43? Right. It's so emotional. You already know, Sheila. Kiss gay. Okay. 
place you saw your kids at? Welcome to Death Row. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, ma'am, ma'am, listen to me. I said thousands. You haven't told me. Tell me so we can look for them. Where? <laughs> she went, I didn't saw them. Went to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, but where was the last place you saw them at? In the bathroom. At the bathroom? Which bathroom? I just want my girls to go <laughs> Okay. Well, we need to find your girls, so you need to help us out, okay? Where was the last place that you saw them? There's a bathroom right there. What are they? What are, what are your kids wearing? How are they dressed? One of them got them a red, a red shirt and some black pants. Red shirt, black pants. Is that a boy or a girl? A girl. Okay. How about the other one? The other one got some braid, braid up with some white beads and okay. the back in a little shape braid. Okay. She's also a girl, so it's two girls. Flags. You got the information. Red shirt. Red shirt black and black pants. That was the first one, huh? Sweetie, give us a, give us the information on the second one. And I bet she drunk as a skunk. Did she poop on herself? Says I play. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You need to help us out so we can find your daughters. Okay, so answer this. Give us a clothing description one more time. <laughs> I need my These two children, uh, Robinson, right now at 11.50. Let go there. Do me a favor, can you, we're going to get her name, can you run it? Yeah, that's fine, my To see if that is true that, you know, some of her kids are Yeah, that she have two kids, you know what I'm saying? And I was, let me one minute, guys. And Anan, Anan had to go. She hit, she got into it with a passenger. I don't know where the passenger is. Did you see all this? Here. Let me get two questions from you. Anan. Ricky, I'm getting it for you. You got it already printed. Okay, does, does she... Is she oh, flying with somebody? <laughs> she's a non-rev, yeah. It's, uh, is she with any, traveling with anybody? Yes. She grew up with some kids. They're born in 2014 and 16. Where? And it's just some three? Yeah, going to JFK. JFK. Uh, JFK. At 4 o'clock? Ask. <laughs> Yeah. Is she she smells drunk, right? I knew it. She smells drunk, right? I knew it was alcohol's involved. It's two girls. Hey, they're right here. Yeah. Hi guys. I don't let's not let's leave them here. Yeah, they don't they, they, they don't they don't need to see their mom like that. Okay. Oh, does she want to stay with them? Yeah, I'll okay. Thanks for the tip. Your children are fine, okay? They're over there with an officer. We didn't want to bring them over here to see you handcuffed and stuff like that. Okay, okay ma'am. Sec second question. Are you from here or are you from New York? Alabama. Alabama? Do you have any family or friends here in Miami? That can come and pick up the kids. Anybody that can come pick up the kids? The family's in New York? Okay, you know what's going to happen if you don't have anybody that can here in Miami or a friend, somebody? You're going to go to GCF. No, you want to go do it? Go, go, go. We found the kids, Ricky. Let me grab these super chats real quick. And that's the thing. How do you get weight? I don't understand people, man. How do you get wasted like that when you got babies? You traveling with babies, man. Like... Bad parenting, that's exactly what it is. So listen on me, Whiskey and Smoke, joining the squad. I see you, bro. Appreciate you, Whiskey and Smoke. 
Let's see. Salute to from downtown 296 with the ten dollar super chat. Find the money, y'all. There's poor people around <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> Let's see. Did you get your plaque yet, Coop? No, man. I'm still waiting on YouTube, man. I have no idea how long it's gonna be before I get my plaque. They working on it though. They are working on it. From downtown 296 is man, this chick is so reckless. Not saying that I'm a better parent than anyone else, but I watch my arm baby like a hawk because he's my responsibility. No one else. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Exactly, man. That's all I'm saying, man. How are you this shit-faced? Look, you shouldn't be getting shit-faced traveling with children, man. That's in my opinion, especially when you're traveling it alone. I can see if it's a group of y'all, but come on, man. <clears throat> your parent responsibilities come before taking in alcohol. If you can't handle your shit, salute to you from downtown. Appreciate you, bro, for the 10 bucks. Let's see. Salute to Paul Thompson. What you got, Paul? She's shaped like Saber, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Salute to you, Paul, for the five dollars super chat. Tip. Let's see. That's funny. Salute to from downtown two ninety six says, like a hawk. I meant assume me. I'm dropping. No, I got what you're saying, bro. I know exactly what you're saying, man. Yeah, man. You watch your kids, man. Got to. It's your responsibility, bro. So, to you, what's up going on, EJ? I was I was thinking about you the other day, EJ. What you got? This elephant is going to jail. <laughs> Salute to you, EJ. Let's see. Yeah, we all know where she going. You going to jail? Yeah. Okay, you going to jail? Yeah. What's up, nigga? You going to jail? Oh, shit. <laughs> Salute to you, EJ. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. All right, let's get back to it, man. Yeah. Oh, all right. They were sitting there waiting for, for the okay. Okay. Somebody said that she was with two kids because she was at the rebooking desk at D55. And uh, and that she was rebooked, but they don't know if she's a, if she was gonna get onto that flight because she was on a standby. Break the damage. At a turn. Damage the property. Uh, what are we up to? Four or five thousand dollars. Computer keyboard, wood panel. Okay. Computer kiosk for boarding pass. Salute to you, Romero. Well, that's that, that thing that was knocked over. Yeah. Three nine hours. See, this is a, <clears throat> that's what I was saying. If, that's why I asked earlier if you guys had seen this clip before, because this is much much shorter version. This woman was acting the ass in the airport. I mean, they showed a little bit of it. I was hoping they would show more, but she was destroying shit. It was terrible, man. Hit the like button. <laughs> Right there. Sir Charles says, if you're going to Miami, you got to fly through Fort Lauderdale. Here's something I ju that just hit me right now, Sir Charles. <clears throat> every now and then, we watch, we watch dash cams a lot. Every now and then, we do like the airport stuff. I always feel bad for like the airport airport cops, because follow me for a second. They taking in everybody else's riffraff. They taking in everyone else's riffraff. Like, you could just be passing through in transit from Chicago to Miami, stop in Nashville, and act a fucking ass in Nashville, Tennessee. They got to deal with your BS, man. It's crazy. Let's get back to it. Here we go. <laughs> we got some Kendra cam for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected Kendra cam. Says facts, but Miami airport got issues. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We got the Kendra cam. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is the body bodying? <laughs> Let's get back to it. <laughs> Probably can. Hit the like button. Hey, we don't Thanks have for the a, tip. a female. Because you want to lose the name of the bird. The female is Marianne. Have a seat. 
the walk of shame. You might want to give us Oscar's gonna take the kids. The woman was charged with assault, <laughs> public intoxication, and disorderly conduct. Officers were able to discover that the mother was actually at the wrong terminal, and her kids didn't go anywhere, and were also found safe. What? Hey yo, what the fuck? This bitch. Body looking like a melting candle. Somebody said <laughs> that Billy is scary sights as young D. Built like a five-day-old melted ice cream, <laughs> says Jay Honey. Y'all are nuts, man. Y'all are nuts. She wasn't even, that's what I'm saying. She's so intoxicated. She's so damn lit, drunk. She's in the wrong terminal again. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, my God. What, simple man? Right? Right, bro? Let's get back to it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Uh, nah. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Oh, my God. That's terrible, people. Don't drink when you got babysitting duties. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if your babies, if your, if, your, if your cousin is watching your babies, do you. <laughs> if, you if you don't get too wasted that you lose your babies at the airport, and you at the wrong terminal. It's not even like someone did something to her. She was just at the wrong damn terminal. So, all right. Let's get off this pack. Move on to the next one. They sure I didn't miss any super chats. Let's see here. Hit the like button, good people. I don't, I don't know how the likes are looking. I don't believe they're looking good because y'all a bunch of degenerates. You filthy motherfucker. Let's see. Salute to AD Blackman. Hide the money, y'all. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. Fick as hell, says Rebecca. <laughs> salute to AD Blackman. With the $20 bomb. What you got, AD? AD says, salute on Monday. It's the first. Quit your job. Your rent is too motherfucker. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> quit your job. If you quit your, how about this? If y'all quit your job, I will sing for you. If y'all, if somebody tells me Coop, I quit my job, I will sing for you. Random fact: If you guys want to see a video of Theo Coop singing, I got it right here. No, I don't. There you go. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Salute to you, AD Blackman. I'm going to add you as well as the Homie Rekai Media as our show sponsor. <laughs> let's see. Fashion by, by Pillsbury. You stupid, MRL. Appreciate you, AD. Um, let's see. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to add you in one second, man. Let's see what's the next clip I got here. The next clip I have is... Uh, I like that drop. I like that drop. <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop the show, stop the show. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Stop the show, I gotta call somebody out. I gotta call somebody out. Ziggy, where the hell you been, Ziggy? I ain't seen your name in forever, Ziggy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Great to have you, man. You still doing your thing down at ATL? Let me know, bro. <laughs> he, took, he hit that high note and just passed the fuck out. <laughs> What's going on, Remnant Princess? I see you. Positech, I see you. Mr. Guap, I see you. A sour seed, I see you. <laughs> that shit. He just passed the fuck out, man. That is great. He had that one high note in him, man. Salute to you, Zig. I ain't see you in a minute, bro. All right. Let's get back to it, man. Let's get back to it. We have... What do we have here? Oh, my God. This bitch right there. This bitch. Coop, you'll sing and just knock <laughs> out the mic. Yeah, that's all, I, that's all I do. Coop can't sing. All right. Let's get it, man. This is... Uh, Pink Book Lessons, and I don't even know why. I play this to annoy y'all, annoy myself as well. Amanda Seals asks, oh, I can't stand this. I can't stand this, man. This bitch. What's going on? Our, or was it our writer, Prophet? Salute to you, writer, Prophet. Says, morning, all. Morning to you, writer. All right. Amanda Seals complaining Pink Book Lessons. I love me some Pink Book. Let's get it. I just want to say something. <clears throat> Hit the like If button, it wasn't people. for y'all, I would really... If it wasn't for y'all, I would really think that I ain't doing It had to hurt. Because the industry I'm in does not recognize me. And to be clear, I'm speaking about the black spaces in the industry I'm in. Because y'all know I don't give two dams about any of these other spaces. But I'm, I, the black spaces is what I'm referring to. Which is largely in part why I realized like I need to shift out of this industry. You know, like I don't get invited to Essence Women in Hollywood. I've never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. I've been, I've been nominated for an wrong. Image Award. Never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. <laughs> Never been honored at Black Girls Rock. Like, what? <laughs> I've hosted these events. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I literally hosted the BET Awards in 2020 in my house and I was not invited to the BET Awards since. So I just want to thank y'all for always reminding me that I, I really am valuable because the game and the industry that I've been in has never let me know. Amanda Seals to me is like, if misery, if miserable was a person, salute to you, Remnant. If miserable was a person, that's Amanda the Seals. title delusional and annoying. Amanda Seals came out on Instagram over the NAACP Image Awards weekend, complaining about not being invited to that event and other black events and how black people are not lifting her up and kissing her behind and showering her and honoring her because she deserves to be honored. Obviously, she didn't take her medicine that day because <laughs> she is 1000% delusional. And I'll tell you why, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Okay, Amanda Seal is really heavy on the baby bot bimbo babble, always coming off with this pseudo intelligence, but she's been lathering up the victimhood soap and spreading it everywhere. I just wanna say something. If it wasn't for y'all, I would really, if it wasn't for y'all, I would really think that I ain't doing Young ladies, listen up. You're looking at a 42 year old woman, soon to be 43. She's supposed to be a strong black independent woman, career driven, she don't need no man for nothing, all of that. But she's sitting on social media at this big grown age, admitting her need for validation from people she don't even know. This too. right here is the other side of the career-driven, strong black independent woman agenda they've been selling you for decades now. At some point in their mid to late 30s, early 40s, they look around and they're still unsatisfied. They're missing something, but they can't seem to understand what it is. They have no balance in their life. Because the industry I'm in does cool. not recognize me. And there's no recognition of her personal life either. So this is how you get a lonely 42 year old woman sitting on social media, whining about acknowledgement and validation. Team Peterson right here, Lisa, great, great, great question. Maybe somebody can answer this. What does Amanda Seals do? That's a good question, <laughs> Team Peterson. That's a good question. Amanda Seal is a bought paid Democrat. Oh, she, oh, she a Democratic Shield 2 Project Leader? I didn't know that about her. Not surprised. And to be clear, I'm speaking about the black spaces in the industry I'm in. Cause y'all know I don't give two dams about any of these other spaces, but I'm, I, the black spaces is what I'm referring to. Now she's Thanks saying that tip. she could care less about being in the mainstream spaces when that's where she wanted to be in the first place, but she fell there. And this is what people like her do. When they fell in the mainstream in corporate America and cannot keep the support of white people, what they do is come over to us, to the black community, and try to force us to accept them by pandering to us, becoming blackity black, or some sort of social justice warrior, acting like they're fighting the power when they're just really disgruntled and mad the mainstream won't accept them. And then she came over to us with this same nasty, rude, obnoxious behavior, this bad attitude, just nasty. It seems a lot of y'all are saying in the chat, y'all never heard of, huh? I've never followed her, but I've heard of, I've heard of Amanda Seals a bunch of times. Never heard anything good. It's always her complaining or getting caught up in some bullshit while she's complaining. Amanda went from blaming white people to blaming black men. Now she's blaming black people in general. Everybody everywhere is the problem except for Amanda. I'm sorry though, at some point you have to look in the mirror. Which is largely in part why I realized like I need to shift out of this industry. You know, like, I don't get invited to Essence Women in Hollywood. I've never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. What? She's up here complaining about not being invited to the Essence Women Thanks in Hollywood the function, the women's event they did. She's supposed to be the head feminist in charge, and the feminist did not invite her, so she's big mad. I've been, I've been nominated for an Image Award. Never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. She was nominated for that Thanks NAACP for Image Award back in 2021. They canceled the show that year due to C-19. So you would have been at that show, but they canceled it. The Baby Bop Bimbo Babble is strong here. Never been honored at Black Girls Rock. Like, <laughs> I've hosted these events. You know what I'm saying? Um, I literally hosted the BET Awards in 2020 in my house. And I was not invited to the BET Awards since. So because you hosted the BET Awards, the virtual BET Awards, during the year of C-19, you're supposed to be honored at all these events and you automatically deserve an invite every time BET is putting on an award show. Oh, a Woke Will, okay, I didn't know this. Salute to you, Woke Will. Woke Will says, uh, she was in the group Floetry, got kicked out. I didn't know that, bro. I, I, I remember I remember Floetry, I didn't know she was one of them. Come on. 
And then Black Girls Rock, they haven't had that show in five years. 2019 was the last one where they honored Angela Bassett, Regina King, Sierra, and the singer Her. Let's be real. Amanda is delusional. In her mind, she believes she's at a higher level than where she is in reality. That's a fact. Let me grab these super chats real quick. And Amanda, here. Amanda, I got to drop for you. Thanks for Buy a dog, die alone. <laughs> it's always complaining. I just know her for complaining, man. It's <laughs> complaining. Nobody likes her. I remember, I remember, you guys let me know in the chat if you guys remember this. There is a doctor. I, I could be I could be mixing the gentleman up. I believe it was the football player who turned surgeon or a doctor um of some sort. Or it could be a different dude. But I know there was a doctor that she accused of like made some accusations Thanks against him because he declined her romantic advance. Somebody let me know. I don't, I, don't, I, I may be remembering, I may be um, confusing the details, but I believe that's an accurate story. There was a doctor that, you know, it was a brother that kind of declined her. And because of that, she was smearing his name on social media. Y'all let me know in the chat while I grab these super chats real quick. Salute to... The homie Ryder just joined. I see you, bro. Ryder, the prophet, man. It's B1. Salute to you, bro, for joining the channel membership. Salute to Eric Jordan. Says, Shut, bro, I'm just saying. Shut up, bitch. Nobody cares. Here, Stephen A, talk to him. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Sorry, since she wasn't in Florida Tree. I was thinking, uh, Woke might have been fucking with me. Uh, but my, uh, Myron Roll, that was his name. Okay, Myron Roll. Okay, let's see. She accused him of SA allegations. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was uh, it was allegations. Okay, she accused him of SA. I thought it was something like that. Salute to you, Eric Jordan. Let's see. Salute to from downtown. What you got, bro? She wants to be acknowledged like Roman Reigns. That's what I'm saying, bro. Acknowledge me. I saw that too, man. Like, <laughs> like what? She want to be acknowledged. Who are who are you? Salute to the homie Derek with the five dollar super chat. Uh, young D said, "I thought Floor Tree was British. I don't think they were British, Young D. I could be wrong, though. I don't think I don't think they were British, though." Uh, Derek Gaines says, "What you got, Derek? I don't know who she e even. Uh, I don't know who she even. I mean, wait a minute. You don't know, you don't even know who she is. I bet you more people know about me because of Theo's Apple's ass reaction. Goose City. <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck? I should time your ass out for that, Derek. Salute to you and salute to the great city of Cincinnati, man. Salute to you, bro. Let's see." I'm gonna get some of that. I'm gonna go down to Cincinnati and get some of that spaghetti with noodles in it. Let's see. Mr. Guap says she ain't been no, it's chili with the with the noodles. Focus coop. She ain't been popping since my brother and me. Salute to you, Mr. Guap. Okay. It always seems like she's in the in the news, but for nothing positive. Let's see. MOP says moist sir, do your job. They both suck. Salute to you, MOP. Salute to Delaware. Let's see. Salute to Smoke and Talk. Oh, excuse me. What's going on, Selena? What it do, baby? I ain't seen you in a while, Selena. Make sure y'all subscribe to Smoke and Talk. Theo, she was in that HBO show, Insecure. Okay, okay. I never watched Insecure, Fu Man 313, but I know of it. I just never checked it out. Let's see. Make sure y'all subscribe to, to Selena Mason, the homie Severe, my big bro Brian over there at Smoke and Talk LLC. I know Smoke and Talk, somebody's in there. Drop the link to uh, Smoke and Talk. I know we're trying to get that new channel up to 1,000 subscribers. What you got, Selena? Bro, I can't leave my day job until Smoke and Talk is halfway to where you are at. Look, but if you start singing, I got to back you up. There you go. <laughs> no doubt. Oh my. Salute to y'all, man. I want everybody to quit y'all jobs, man. He's a Rose Scholar since the new movement. Okay, okay, yeah, man. I want everybody to quit their job. You ain't got to do YouTube. Just die. I, don't, I hate seeing people sitting around wasting their life it, it, for years at jobs that they hate. I've been there. Oh, my. Not no more. Salute to you, Selena. Make sure y'all subscribe to the crew over at Smoke and Talk. Salute to you, Selena. Thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Salute to Southwest Force. What you got? Only know her from the show Insecure. Okay. Salute to you, bro. All right. It looks like she was in Insecure, and that's about it. My brother was in my brother and me. Recluse Gangster says, good morning, Coop and Squad. Yo, Diddy been on that weird ish for a minute. You ever notice the tranny in the men's bathroom scene at the bar in the Big Papa video? I did not. I did not. Let's see. I always liked, uh, well, now, I mean, I remember watching him in, um, what's that movie? Get Him to the Greek. I remember seeing that movie year, you know, years ago, and I remember just thinking, one, he acted his ass off in that movie. I thought he really did a good job. But it was so real. Was like, it's kind of I'm like, this is probably how Diddy is for real. I remember him being really, really convincing. I'm like, okay, 
Like, this is probably like Diddy for real back when I saw him, but that was before I knew he was a deviant. So, who's your recluse gangster for the $5 super chat? Let's get back to this bitch. Uh, let's finish her off, recluse. I just want to thank y'all for always reminding me that I, I really am valuable because the game this and the industry bitch. that I've been in has never let me know. Why would it take people on social media to show you your value? And why will you look for the quote game and the entertainment industry to give you value? So while all the black people went down there to the party and award show, Amanda Seals was sitting at home pouting because she couldn't be there. She wasn't invited. She made that video and went around social media. And of course, she followed up with another video to address the people who didn't agree with her. Take a look. That, oh, it's the, it's the people on the ground. Like it's the people that see you and say like, yo, keep going. It's the people that, leave hearts here you know it's the it's the people like that's really what is the most important thing and for so many creatives we don't understand that because we have Shut been up, so pulled into this like idea that we got to be trying to please these people that you get caught up <laughs> in like trying to please those people not really understanding like they they not it <laughs> It's, it's us. It's y'all. Like, they not it. Real quick. Thank you all for letting me know that woke, I woke will of all people is fucking with me on that. <laughs> I think woke will of all people will be fucking with me today on that. Uh, but real quick, Darius says, don't watch the Good Times reboot on Netflix. Did y'all see that bullshit? Bang! Bang! It's good! I'm not going to play it here, but let me know in the chat if y'all saw that bullshit-ass trailer for the Good Times. I saw that. I was like, bruh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I beg your pardon? Let me know if y'all saw it. That bullshit should not last uh, two episodes, man. Did y'all see the trailer for that new? Sp it's deplorable. Let's go. You know, and so that's really what I was trying to get across. And I know, like, some people are like, "Well, I don't understand." It's like you don't care what people think, but you want to be invited in their spaces. And it's like, well, two things can be true at the same time, right? Like, you can simultaneously be like, "I need to do what needs to be done. I need to say what needs to be said," while also really feeling like, damn, it's unfortunate that these spaces <laughs> that benefit from that type of um, ardent challenging of systems that oppress it, it's unfortunate that those places don't, <laughs> like, shut up, Michael, <laughs> that those bad, places bro. don't see, like, the value in what you do to enhance those spaces. So... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just a lot more baby bot bimbo babble. You know, I think there's something very real about wanting to be understood and accepted in spaces that you are protecting. And I think that that's really, you know, important. Uh, I love black people. I love our culture. I feel like there is a constant attack on our culture, etc. And so I do my best to inform and educate and whatnot. And, you know, I don't think there's anything crazy for wanting, like, to not be left out of the celebratory spaces of those spaces. She said spaces <laughs> over and over again. Basically, she's a black feminist, a black misandrist. She's been doing this fighting for the sisterhood. And now she's upset that they're not propping her up after she's been doing the most. She's going to talk about this space and that space, but will never explain the real reason why she's not liked. And honestly, if you don't really care about it, stop whining about not being invited to the party. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Special thank you to Havelock. I appreciate you, Havelock, for all of your support, as well as Marlon, Donna K, Daryl, and so Make sure y'all subscribe to Pink Book. Y'all know I love me some Pink Book. I love me some Pink Book lessons. Make sure you guys are subscribed to her channel, one of the best content creators on YouTube, at least in my Humble opinion. Amanda Seals. Ah, oh, here, there. Amanda Seals, this is for you. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. Every time I see you, you complaining about some shit. Amanda Seals, shut the fuck up, okay? Get out of here. Kick rocks, lady. All right, moving on. Moving on. Oh, yeah, some of y'all seen the good times. Uh, the original good times. was <laughs> just grateful. Folks was just sleep. Ah, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I kind of believe that as well. Let's see. And then um, what do we have here? I think that was it. Let me let me grab these super chats real quick. Thanks for the I love, tip. Love me some pink book, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to her. All right, let me see here. Oh, excuse me. Give me one second. Salute to Bistro. What you got, Bistro? Her goofy ass got thrown out of uh, Emmy Black Hollywood after party that she was invited to. Issa Rae's publicist didn't want her there, bro. Mm, that's bro. That's that's. Jail. This is Haram. Abdul, get the rocks. Let's see. I have some acting talent. She's just not good enough to negate her horrible attitudes and stain on. That's Welcome. fair, bro. 
that's fair. Let's see. Let me grab these super chats real quick. And why is this thing not working? We're give me one second. Salute to the rough head. Hide the money, y'all. Why does this not pop up, bro? Why does it not pop Hide up? Hide the money, y'all. Thanks for the tip. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. Appreciate you, Rough Head Podcast. And then, again, guys, reminder, if Coop says hit the Super Chat or hit the Cash App, which I think I got to check my Cash App, just do it. Don't ask no questions, people. Don't ask no questions. Don't ask how come, uh, 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 why come the pastor have to have him a nice house? Huh? Uh, why come the uh, uh, pastor doesn't have a nice car? Huh? Don't ask. I said don't ask. I said don't ask no questions. Just give the money. <laughs> just give the money, y'all. That's all y'all gotta do. Just give the money. <laughs> Salute to you, Rough Hands Podcast, our show sponsor. Make sure to moderators, please drop the link to the homie Rough Hands Podcast. He's always supporting the show. A Theo Coop Diddy's ass has been frozen there. Okay, let's see. Salute to uh, Rough Hands Podcast. What you got, bro? Shout out to Big Theo. Your boy just hit a 1K. Yo! Bang! Bang! It's good! Y'all, congrats. Make sure we show Rough Hands some, some love in the chat. He just hit 1K. K subscribers, let's get it. Woo! Woo! Just give the money. I said, don't ask, bro. Just give it. <laughs> What's going on, Mona D? I see you. Shanique, I see you. Tone, I see you. Salute to you, rough hands. Let's see. Shout out to Big Theo. Your boy hit 1K subs. Thanks for inspiring me to start my own channel. You never know who's listening to you. Appreciate all the help. Salute to the squad. Facts. Bang! Bang! It's good. And that's a fact, bro. Woo! Salute to you, Rough Hands Podcast, our show sponsor. And, I, and I'll never forget, Rough Hands, that I believe it was another time, and I believe you, I think I think you cashed at me or something like that, like just out of nowhere. I remember Rough Hands cashed at me. It was during the, during the show, I think he dropped 100 on the cash app and was like, hey, man, you tell people to check out my channel. And then he Welcome also said, death, bro. you inspired me to make my own, to have my own podcast. And I was like, bro, oh, it didn't, oh, God, what? oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, and I was thinking to myself, like, what the fuck? Like, people, I actually inspired somebody to start a podcast? I wouldn't have thought of that. But, yeah, man. And that's that's dope, man. That's dope. Make sure we show Rough Hands some love on the chat. And this is proof right here, man. Anybody anybody can do this, man. Rough Hands started his podcast not that long ago. Rough Hands ain't even been grinding that long, and he already got a 1,000 subscribers. Man, there you go, bro. There you go. Salute to you, Rough Hands, our show sponsor. Keep grinding, y'all. Keep grinding, man. Appreciate you, Rough Hands. I'm going to get you updated as our show sponsor in one second. Salute to you, bro. That's good news, man. That's really good to hear, man. Salute to you, Rough Hands. Let's see. Salute to the homie Skinny Boy. Says, tell Remnant. <laughs> tell Remnant, Princess. Remnant, this is for you. Lord have mercy. I'm about to bust. Salute to you, Skinny Boy. Skinny Boy, my guy. Skinny boy, my guy, man. And again, skinny boy is a reminder for y'all. Shoot y'all shots. If y'all are looking at one of the lovely, lovely squatters, we need to do better. We need to do better connection. Uh, here's the theme music for our do better connections right now. You ain't gotta say too much from the look in your eyes. I can tell you want to That's not a good. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> it's not a good drop to play. We need a do better love connection. And shoot y'all shot through these super chats. <laughs> Salute to you, skinny boy. <laughs> Let's see. Salute to you, Tone. Channel member for five months. It's peace and prosperity. Our people, B1. Facts. You're goddamn right. Salute to you, Tone. Great to have you as always, man. Salute to the homie, Sir Charge. He just joined the membership. Appreciate you, bro. General, you. Welcome to Death Row. Salute to you, Sir Charge. Let's see. Salute to the homie from downtown 296. Back in that super chat. He says, what is this animated Good Times reboot bullshit? Who signed off on this? Hollywood always knows tip. how to make a mockery out of us. Bro. You're goddamn right. Let's see. I just watched it. It's crazy. Man, it's some... I need that clip. This is some bullshit. <laughs> if y'all have not seen the animated clip, I'm not going to play it. It's not, I'm not going to give it time on my airways. But it is deplorable. It is deplorable. Just every, And then someone else said it in the chat, and I didn't mention that as well, is that it's executive pro produced by Steph Curry, the, uh, the basketball player for the Warriors of all people. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What? He signed off on this. I saw that clip. Was like, nah, that's some bull, bro. That's some bull. That ain't there. Don't man. I wouldn't man. They need to be canceled for that shit. <laughs> Salute to you from downtown. Appreciate you, bro. Let's see. Salute to Mr. Gino. What you got, Mr. Gino? This is a group. Salute. 
My hands are busy. <laughs> Salute to you, Mr. Gino. Hold me down, my big OG in Lansing, Michigan. Salute to you, Mr. Gino. All right, let's get back to it, man. I think we get get bitch, get, bitch, get off my screen. Disrespectfully. I don't mean it in a respectful way. Let's see. Get out of here. Get your goofy ass out of here. All right. It's a real quick clip. Joy Taylor, the NFL commentator. I don't think she in the NBA. Joy Taylor is just another, another not miserable. <laughs> But Joy Taylor, she pretty much admits it. Salute to Manosphere Highlight Daily for this clip. Joy Taylor admits that women break the rules for Pookie pretty much. Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the Manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. You're throwing all boundaries, boundaries, standards. Y'all let me know what y'all think about uh, Joy Taylor and... Um, What's her name? Taylor Rooks. Uh, yeah, I, when I think of both their names, I think double toppy. But we're not talking about me right now. Let's get All back to it. All that you talked on Instagram about how you would never. It's not <laughs> logic. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Mr. Devin for this video. This is his message. Sir. Thanks for the see tip. The link below. To witness a modern woman being honest about how they drop standards for looks, humor, and finances. Appreciate all you do. Regards, Devin. Mr. Devin, salute! Thanks Thank for you the tip. for your message. This is Joy Taylor. She's an American media personality and television host for Fox Sports One. And like many, 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 many others, she started a podcast. Now, before we get into this, I just want to stress how this social media era is really messing women up. And now podcasts are trending and everybody and their mama has to start a podcast, That's a which fact. is fine with me. It's just that women have the tendency to tell on themselves when they have the chance to talk. Women always did that, but now it's on record. And this is another example of what this looks like. It's women who are red pilling men and they are breaking records left and right. The only thing we have to do is highlight it. You know, I thought about what to talk about today. And there's, there was so much that happens and so much that's happened to me that I couldn't really decide. But through the conversations that I'm having, just moving around the world, I've realized that these hypotheticals have got us in a chokehold and we must free ourselves. We must free ourselves from these hypotheticals. It doesn't matter. It's fun banter. It's fun to argue about. It's fun to talk about what you would do in this scenario or would you leave the game if the seats were high or if a man took you this place on a first date, what you would do. And I'm telling you, like every interaction that I have with people now, in some way or another, these things come up. And at the end of the day, it's two things. One, I don't have these conversations in real life with men or anyone. I, 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 these scenarios do not pop up for me. I don't deal with them. <laughs> these are other people's problems and I respect that people have these issues, but they aren't my issues. So all I can tell you is what I think I would do because they don't apply to me. But also, can we just keep it a buck? If they're fine enough, if they're funny enough, or if their financial status is what you want. Fine, funny, fucking money. What the? <laughs> You're throwing all boundaries, boundaries. Chris just called it in the chat. She's another Ebony K. Williams. Man, she had she she had a husband too and divorced the shit out of him. Y'all do me a favor. Salute to Rough Hands Podcast, our show sponsor. I got his link right here. Do me a favor and subscribe to him. <laughs> Rough hands, you the homie, and he a uh, vet as well. Salute to all the vets, man. Go ahead and throw the homie Rough Hand Podcast a subscription right now. I got it on the screen. Standards. All that shit you talked on Instagram about yeah, how you would never. The tip. And this woman ain't kick because women this and men this. You're it's and you're do, you're moving forward with this person. We must free ourselves. <laughs> Women can never free themselves because that would take accountability. And we all know that accountability is a woman's... Kryptonite. Kryptonite. It hurts. Women 
often struggle with the emotions that come with being recognized or seen as a bad decision maker. Oh, I didn't know that. She, to be fair, Joy survived DV. Okay, that's good on her. I didn't know that. A bad girlfriend, a bad wife, a bad mother, and so on and so on. That's why it's essential that women have plausible Girl deniability. Watson, okay. That's why all of their boyfriends are narcissists. They know how to pick them, huh? Women know damn well what a good man is. And they've been saying that they want a man who has a black belt in simjutsu. But for some reason, the simjutsu masters are rejected like a misfit puzzle piece. It's not <clears throat> logic. Now, I want you to pay attention to her body language. Because this is where you'll find the answer to why these women can't shut the F up. <laughs> Standards. All that shit you talked on Instagram about yeah. how you would never, and this woman ain't kick, cause women this and men this, you're, it's, and you're, do, you're moving forward with this person. We must free ourselves. Look, 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 She's literally drinking that feel good Kool Aid. Can you make me feel good? Can you make me feel good? Women can't shut the F up because it makes them feel good. It's therapeutic. That's why TikTok is full of women crying, complaining, and ranting for the gal them. <laughs> for all the price, I just, I, I wish, I that's wish I it. just had a man just pop up and be like, yo, take a step back, woman, I got you. Now them got them neck tattoos. So I was seeing this guy for a couple months and my kids didn't meet him, but they knew he existed and um, he ghosted me. I'm literally <laughs> 29 years old. I don't think anyone likes me. I am in this mindset of like, no one finds me attractive <clears throat> or at least I'm attractive right. enough to be with physically, what? but no one wants to actually commit to me. So the, the kind of man Oh, God. that I would be looking for is a man that is emotionally available. I need somebody that's emotionally available for me. I need somebody that supports me. Question for the chat. Y'all let me know. Uh, Marion Anderson just subscribed. Salute. This has nothing to do with nothing. I know this is Lily, Lily Neeks, I believe that's her name. I know she is a reality star. Theo Coop has not watched reality television since... Flavor of Flav, like the Love of Flav, Flavor of Flav show in like the early 2000s. I know just from being on the internet for years, this is Nene -Nee Leaks. What does this bitch do? And why do I have such so much um, disdain for her? I'm a woman I've never met. <laughs> who is this woman? Why do I know who she is? And I hate her guts. Oh God, let's get back to it. Let's just have to stop it's, it for that. He, like I said, he has like the best personality, hands down. So I'm on here me, to me, ask, I think I what do I do? And don't be too cold. Like, don't be too <laughs> dump him. Leave him. Take all your money, replenish your savings, pay off your credit cards, take yourself on a trip, get yourself something nice, and take this as a lesson. Okay? And I'm not trying to be cold. I'm just telling you what everyone else is thinking. That you can do better and you already were doing better all by yourself. So why would you downgrade your lifestyle to be with a man? Okay? <laughs> women love to let their emotions flow, but women are not emotionally intelligent. They don't think about the consequences of their actions. They don't understand that they are responsible for men not wanting to date them. They don't understand that men talk. This is a stripper. Why do you think we already knew this information? It's the Chads and Tyrones who came back to the brotherhood to tell their stories. Like I've said many, 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 many times before, it's women who red pilled me because I had access to them and I would share the information with my brothers, just like my brothers shared the information with me. It's always been the men who had access to women who had the most unbelievable stories. But in this social media era, <laughs> That's fair, Eric. it's women who bring these stories to us, doubling down on the conclusion that the juice ain't worth the squeeze. I would never date, I would never date a man that has five baby mamas. Okay. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been 
highlighted. And it's crazy what Joy said there at the end. Like, I never date a man with like five baby mamas. But it's like, but if he's fine enough or he's got the power and the influence of money, future Nick Cannon, I just cannot see. I don't give a damn, Sir Charles is a man. I don't give a damn how fine a woman is or how, I know men, we're not really to care about a woman's like money or power. But I don't give a damn. It's just, you know, I know the, the men in the woman's mind works differently. I just cannot see how a woman, I mean, I guess it, it, to me, it has to be money. It has to be money to get with a motherfucker like Future or, nor, or some type of notoriety to get with a dude like Future or like Nick Cannon who have all these been to, to willfully line up to be baby no, mama number seven or six. It's crazy to me. Be that as it may. Here's the point that I want to say. So Charles, so, so, so Charles up here, uh, reading, reading my mind, he a prophet. If you haven't been watching reality TV show, you ain't missing much. But Catfish is wild. Oh, we, gonna, we playing our first Catfish today. <laughs> Read my mind, Sir Charles. All right, let's get let's get back to it. Getting this off my screen. Make sure y'all subscribe to the homie Manosphere Highlight Daily. I love his content. Let's see what we have here. Make sure I didn't miss any super chats. Let's see. Salute to our show sponsor, the Rough Hands Podcast, and let me know how we're looking on likes. Let's see. Salute to Mr. Gino says this is. Oh, I already got this from Mr. Mr. Gino. The Spike Spiegel says. Morning, Albuquerque, in here. She got crazy eyes, that's a fact. You're goddamn right. Salute to everybody in the great state of New Mexico, man. Salute to you, bro. Let's see. Salute to, from downtown 296. Only reason Joy Taylor has a commentator job is because, yeah, I know her brother, Jason Taylor, the uh, Miami Dolphins uh, defensive back. Yeah, I know that's her brother. Uh, has a great defensive end for the Dolphins. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I knew that about, um, about Joy Taylor. But I'll put it to you like this, from downtown 296. Y'all let me know. If I'm tripping, no, Theo, what about those three Memphis Pookies that had 80 kids between them? Oh, they all pieces of shit, bro. I know, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a great observation, too. That's a great point as well, Chris. I didn't think about that. I was looking at it only from a aspect of a man being financially successful. They keep giving the wounds to old Pookie and Ray Ray. I saw that, man, three dudes with 80 kids in Memphis. Disgusting, Chris. Disgusting, bro. Appreciate you from downtown. And that's what I was going to say. Real quick question. Fellas. Maybe I'll put it on the poll. What's going on, CDT Beats? I see you. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it on, on the poll. Daniel Cunningham, I see you. Would you want to date a woman like that? I'm, I'm talking Joy Taylor and what's the other What's the other one? Taylor, Taylor Rooks. It has nothing to do with like their beauty or anything. They're both two obviously good-looking women. But these two women who are in, in such a male-dominated area, like you just got dudes all around you all the time. You know what I mean? Like, if you're talking to Taylor Rooks, Taylor Rooks, I know she covered the NBA. Now I see she covered the NFL, too. Like, every time I see you, it's a dude uh, with a lot of money in your face all the time like this. You know, they be trying to smash. If they don't, be bang. Bang! Bang! It's good! Do y'all think some of those female uh, reporters be getting turned out? They be beating up them guts, passing around like a blunt? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Salute to you from downtown. Just me thinking out loud. Salute to the homie Mark Kendall. What you got, MK? Theo, what up? Earl Watson dodged the bullet. Yeah, that's what they were saying. So, jo so Joy Taylor was married to Earl Watson, the basketball player. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that, man. Let's see. What up? What up, John Hall? John Hall says, what up, Coop? Let's see. Get the likes up, man. Y'all getting stingy with the likes. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, man. Might have to grab the members only jackets. It's looking like, uh, ain't looking too good in the light, y'all. If y'all don't get the likes up, uh, might be closing out. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it, man. What do we have? Okay, so now we're on to the main event. This is a video. So it's a woke wheel. Woke wheel sent this to me uh, 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 last week, a few days ago. I was gonna put a video together, but I didn't get around to doing it. Uh, Rachel Nichols, you think Rachel Nichols, man? <laughs> Molly Karam is cool. Jalen Rose, ex-wife, on first take. Uh, I don't think Molly Karam. I don't think Molly Karam is cool, but uh, teachers on. Rumor has it that, Jeremy, that Jimmy Butler smashed Rachel Nichols. Rachel Nichols. I'm Rachel Nichols. Look okay with the makeup on. She's probably a travesty underneath that. Joy was married twice. Was it okay? I didn't know she was a DV victim because that ain't cool. But let's see. Funny thing is, I had a friend who would like to get with Mariah Carey, Halle Berry. I tell him you're crazy. That's madness, man. Don't get me started, man. All right, let's see. On to the next clip. This is the passport stud that was on the uh, thumbnail. This woman. I, I remember this story from like a month ago. She went viral for this. She she from Louisiana. She moved to. I'll take Roz Gold. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who's that. Yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about, the new movement. She moved to, she moved from Louisiana to Japan 
without doing any research. Got to Japan and realized I can't afford it. I can't afford to live here. Moved from Japan after a day to Thailand. And she moved across the, across the world with $7 in her pocket. So this went viral about a month ago. And then recently, her and I believe her girlfriend got into a situation in Thailand. And they ended up having to flee the country. So we're going to get into it right now. Hit the like button, good people. Hit the like button. And we've been waking up with ants in our room as well. Uh, our neighbor, she ended up moving out. And the ants, we followed the intro from her room to our room. So that's another thing that we're dealing with. Another thing we're dealing with is the light is broken. The bed is broken. It's just a lot of things that's going on just in this living space. The people here are not pleasant people to be around. They're rude. They're, uh, it just, I don't know. They just are who they are. And I really can't say they just got like this because people don't just get like nothing. It's been like this. It's been like this. It's been like this. It's been like this. When you were coming up as a kid, one of the things your mother probably taught you was to never leave home without your money. Even American Express, the most famous credit card in America, has a saying, don't leave home without it. The American Express card, don't leave home without it. Especially for women, what does your mom teach you? When you go out on a date with a man that you don't know, never go empty handed. Just in case he can't pay the bill or you need to get to a ride home, you always have your money to take care of yourself. Now, for those of us, this is basic knowledge that we pass on to our own kids, our own relatives that are younger than us. But stop the show. There are people who don't care about this particular lesson. I have seen so many people fly all the way to Africa with less than a thousand dollars trying to live a new life and end up homeless. But that doesn't happen that often. But with this lady, Kia, it happened for her. She flew all the way to Thailand, less than $500 to her name. And, and who does that shit? What adult grown person does that? I remember my cousin came, I'm in Detroit. I remember my cousin came here years ago, maybe like five years ago from St. Louis. And this ninja didn't have no money. I was like, bro, you like 36. <laughs> what? And that's still in the Midwest. He's still in the same area. <laughs> not, who flies overseas with no money? Without doing the research, man. And she actually made a series of videos about it like this. This is how I survived in Thailand with only $7. After living in a small village for almost five months, not making any income, I was running out of money. I was down to my last $50. On January 22nd, I decided to take a risk spending my last $50 on a bus ticket from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, then from Bangkok to Pattaya. That left me with only $7 to my name. I didn't know what to do. I was worried, but I kept my faith and trusted that God would make a way. After making it to Pattaya, I met with a local expat. I told him my story and he decided to book me a hotel. And things started to get better at this point. Every news media outlet roasted her. World Star, I covered it, everybody covered it. We thought it was quite silly for a grown lady to go all the way to a foreign country and couldn't take care of herself because she then became a burden on other people. But you know what? She started streaming on TikTok, started getting gifts, started making some money. And some people were nice to her and allowed her to even stay in their premises or even give her free food. But we'll come back to that in a minute. Rewind, Nima! <laughs> so experiencing Kia is also very unique. Experiencing Kia is also a lesbian. We Thanks could call her a stud. Now, when I first covered the story, her girlfriend, our fiance, was living in the States. But according to this clip, when she was trying to renew her visa, the girlfriend is now in Thailand. What's what good, family? Um, thanks for the so tip. So today was the day that I needed to get my visa extended. So come with me while I get a simple visa extension. Yeah. So we had to wake up extremely early. The immigration office is always extremely busy. So it's like you want to get there really early so you can get in line and you don't have to be there all day. Another thing, I don't think I ever told y'all that my fiance finally made it from America to Thailand. So when I say we, I mean me and her, her and I. So now the girlfriend is living in Thailand with her. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Drop oh, scissor me timbers. Now, where they are staying is inside of a nail shop and there's like another business on the second floor. And where they live on a third floor, 
is where they're staying. Now remember there were some people in Thailand who actually were nice to her and gave her opportunities because she was homeless. But stop the show. Things happen, right? Now, as she's gonna point out um, in this video, the owner was okay with her staying there, but the owner's sister and boyfriend did not like her at all. For Thanks whatever for the reason, they did not like them at all, all right? And then things started getting really out of hand. So a video came out yesterday that's going viral of this whole situation that broke down between, you know, her and the people that live there. <laughs> Let's play the video and then we're gonna come back. What's good family? So we just now coming back from doing a long day of work. I'm proud of my fiance. She finally got business up and running. So it's a celebration. Um, but yeah, finished doing today's work, today's task. This is one of my favorite ladies, y'all. Hello. <laughs> that lady is so sweet, she's so nice. I always don't eat noodles there, but um, we are headed back to the crib. I gotta do some things on the phone. I gotta call some people, take care of some business. Uh, but today, today was a, actually a, a good day. It was actually a good day. Nothing happened, it was smooth sailing. Now I'm back at the shop. Wow. So this is what we come back to today. This is what we come back to today. Huh? Thanks for the tip. Oh, it's okay. All right, yeah. You got the key, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. All right, so let me grab these super chats real quick. And salute to the homie Woke Will. Woke Will, sent, like I said, he sent me this. But the reason I actually was going to make this video before O'Shea made his, but I was missing details of certain details I didn't have. And I didn't want to drop a video where I'm like, I think this happened or this may have happened. I just didn't have all the details. So I, that's why I didn't make my own video about this because I wanted to. So Luther Woku, and he sent, it to, he sent me all the info early. I just didn't have all the details. Let me grab the Super Chats real quick. Salute to you, Rough Hands, for joining the channel membership. Our show sponsor. Salute to you, Rough Hands. Let's see, 80 Blackman, what you got? How you broke and want to be Carmen San Diego at the same damn time? Right, bro? T just subscribed. Salute. Salute to you, T. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I remember doing shit like this, AD, when I was like 19. I had family that lived out in Pennsylvania. I had family that lived out in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. So we would drive from Detroit out to see my family, whatever. So it's like 10, what was it, 10, 12 hours, something like that, from Michigan to PA. And I remember only having a couple dollars or like $100 to $2. I definitely should have had more money when on the road. <laughs> But I was just going to visit cousins and I wasn't planning on doing anything expensive. But I was a teenager then. That's my ultimate point. How are you this goddamn grown traveling internationally? Traveling internationally with no money in your pocket. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Who does that, man? Salute to you, AD Black. Man, this shit is crazy, bro. What grown ass person does that? Salute to you from downtown 296. Is that POP? I knew somebody was going to say it. I knew somebody was going to say it. She do look like it, too. I knew somebody was going to say that. Salute to you from downtown. Let's see. What we know, podcast. What you got? This is why dread beggars look like. This is what dry beggars look like, Coop. I think you might be on something. God damn right. Somebody called her Lil Bill. Who called her Lil Bill? <laughs> Somebody called her Lil Bill. That's nuts. Salute to you, uh, What We Know Podcast. Yeah, man. Dry beggar. Yo. It's crazy. Mr. Mr. says, damn, JD Kiss. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> no, hard times. Not the homie. <laughs> Not the homie Kiss, man. Salute to you, bro. <laughs> Salute to MOP. What you got, MOP? MOP says, is that the son from my wife and kids? <laughs> Welcome to death, bro. <laughs> Yo, Lil Bill is crazy. This is a good one, too. This is a good. This is this is a good one too, man. Is that the son from my wife and kids? She looks just like him with the bald head, bro. <laughs> she looks just like him with the bald head. Salute to you, bro. Salute to Marco. Been channel member for two months. She built like every Tyler Perry villain. Y'all are nuts, man. Y'all are nuts, man. Let's get back to it, y'all. All right. All right. Just luck. It's not luck. Yeah. 
Okay, we just want, we just trying Come to make sure Butler. all of our things out of the yeah, room. Yeah, it's been a lot going on here, so so right now we're just going upstairs to make sure all of our things are out of the room. So we just making sure we got all of our things out of the room, y'all. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I'm sorry to pause it, but that was the reason I didn't make this video because I was a little bit unsure. So they got to, so she got a job and I remember searching her TikTok. So she got a job, she actually did get work in Thailand where she was doing locks. Thanks she can, she can, she can braid hair, whatever. She was, she was doing a lot of like tourists. She was doing locks. So she found employment. And I guess also at the same time, they let her rent a place above the shop. And apparently, I tried to do some digging, try to get some confirmation. Apparently, it's Thanks a for the tip. apparently she didn't pay the rent like she should have, and that's that's more than likely where the issue lies at. Just throwing that caveat in. Well, I got Todd Jameson, bro. Let's make sure everything is out. I like how y'all naming every bald black dude. I love it. Y'all, so this is what's going on. Make sure everything is Thanks out. Thanks for the tip. Lil Bill is nasty. That Whoever said that was nasty, bro. All right. Everything is going. Come on, this for me. What? <laughs> Huh? Use it. Oh, I didn't even see her, girl. No. CC, just give me my phone, please. Who will take your phone? No, she got it. He got my girl phone. I see him put it in his pocket. What the fuck? This is me. We had money in our purses. I need my phone. I need my phone. This is it. That is my phone. That is my phone. He got my phone. That is my phone. He got my phone. Okay, check. I just need my phone check, back. Check, check, check. I just need my phone back. Yeah, yeah, check, check, check. Stop. Hey, you know what the fuck I'm saying? He got my girl phone. I know. Stop. This ain't white, white. Stop. 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 Get your shoes. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. Y'all are naming every bald black dude and comparing it to, and I love it. This is the message I sent her the day before the attack. What's up, the condemn? This is insane. This is where we're standing, y'all. This is where we're standing. And they decided to put the lock on the door. And when I tell y'all, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was by the grace of God for us to be home. You know why? Because if we wasn't, we was going to be locked out. We was going to be locked out, even though I'm paying rent at this place. And these people are not Thai. The owners. She's tied, but her husband, her boyfriend, who's causing all these problems, he is not tied. He is somebody that wants to be in control Thanks of me tip. and of my girl. He doing anything and everything in his power to try to bring us down. But we're just going to keep on praying and keep on using the word of God against him and just keep on letting God fight our battles. God don't like you, man. Bang! Bang! It's good! If God was in Patia right now, he's spitting your face. Puh! Stop the cat. But I, I really don't know, y'all. Stop bringing God in this bullshit. Once we returned downstairs, after checking to make sure we had all of our things, the owner boyfriend approached me with the intention to break my camera. <laughs> Mario Chalmers. This is another conversation I had with the owner trying to understand what I did to make him so mad. This was her response. There you go. This is some bullshit trying to justify whatever she did. We decided to go to the police and make a report of the assault. 
States and like in Phoenix. On her. Honest to God, if you lived in like, it's really hard to explain. It's the loudest person who wins in the America. The loudest person who wins the, the, the guy who punches. That energy is strong. But it's not, it's not actually strong. I would, I would say it's more like a self-defense kind of a mechanism. Strong shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me grab these super chats real quick. Someone said uh, God is not fighting a battle. <laughs> but let's be, can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> we talk about a sodomite invoking the word of God. Imagine I'm telling y'all, man. Everybody with this convenient Christianity. At least Coop own my shit. I say I'm not a believer. And if I go to hell, fuck it. Bang! Bang! It's good! If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm not up here. Claiming Jesus every time I get into every Thanks time I get into tip. some shit. No, man, I stand on this. I'm not a believer, man. Stop bringing Jesus into this bullshit. Let's see. Salute to Marco. Uh, I got the seatbelt like every time. <laughs> Salute to Classy Perspective. What you got, CP? Thanks for the With tip. With the $10 drop. It takes a lot to make Thai people upset. And you can't say they're racist. That country has allowed a lot of black American business to be built and thrive in the country. Bro. <laughs> If y'all do not know, Theo Koop, I've been to Thailand. I've been to Thailand on three separate occasions. I know about Thailand. Matter of fact, I think I put a picture up here. I celebrated my 25th birthday in Iraq. I got I, think, I got a picture. I think I'll put it up on the screen. Man, Thai people are so laid back and chill. One of the things that I don't believe O'Shea is going to show because he didn't want to get the video demonetized is that they're at the police station right now. They're talking about they were assaulted. He's not going to play the clip. I saw I, I saw pieces of it. But there's video of this woman. She smashes that place that she was in where she was staying. Uh, when she was staying above the shop, she takes her skateboard and smashes the hell out of that shop, like destroys the place. That's why they ended up leaving the country, or at least I believe that they left the country or they were attempting to after. And Team Peterson, let me know in the chat. You said you, you said one of your colleagues had to investigate her. Let me know in the chat some more details, man. But yeah, she ended up smashing a whole, like smashing the store with her skateboard. And it's crazy. The and the last thing I'll say about Thailand is this. Man, Thai people are cool, man. Like you go there and chill. But one of the things I remember, because the first time I went to Thailand was in 2008. So we talking like, 15, 16 years ago. One of the things that I knew back then. Thanks for the tip. When I was doing my research before going there is that don't get drunk and like get and get like handsy, touchy, like with like the women, especially not the dudes. Because they are tied. They're small people, but they're tie fighters and they will fuck you up. So that was kind of the only real thing. Like go there, have a good time. How wife just subscribed. Salute. Go there, have a good time, but just don't get out of pocket putting your hands on people and destroying shit. That will get your ass. Thai people will kick your ass, yo. So let me get back to it, man. Salute to you, classy perspective. Let's see. Salute to Tom. What you got, Tom? Looks like a rapper in the group Onyx Yeller. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be every she gonna be every bald brother that y'all can name, man. AD Blackman says, did anyone call her Wayne Head yet? She looks like Wayne. I don't even know who Wayne Head is. I'm gonna have to look who Wayne Head. What's going on, SP? Let's see. Somebody who called her a lady boy? Who said she was a lady? <laughs> Styles.973 says, bro called her a lady boy. I missed that, man. <laughs> Salute to you. I don't know who Wayne Head is, AD. I gotta look him up. Salute to uh, from downtown with the $10 super chat. She looks like Al Harrington. Do I say she does look like Al Harrington? <laughs> I know Al Harrington. Someone OGB says Ving Rames. I know Al Harrington. I don't know Wayne here, but I know uh, Al Harrington. And she looks just like, like not even just bald. She looks like him in the face, bro. You're right, man. Salute to you from downtown. She does look like Al Harrington, bro. They could be they could be brothers. <laughs> Salute to you, Nazir, channel member for three months. She got a head like Stefan Marbury on nuts. All she misses is the tattoo, Nazir. Let's see. Classic perspective back in that super chat. She should have been grateful. It's close to impossible for anyone to get a job as a foreigner in another country. Bro, and on top of it, man, a brother brought her in. Once her dumbass went over in in, in poor as shit in Bangkok. A uh, brother actually bought her room when she first got in there, man. So she's just she's silly, bro. But then again, we we also talking about a woman who went from the United States of America to Thailand in Southeast Asia with seven dollars in her pocket. Like <laughs> she's not that bright. She's not that bright. So, salute to you, CP. Let's see. Salute to Project Leroy. What you got, PL? So she showed them how to do locks and got kicked out of her place. And now they're going to fight the men in Thailand who protect this woman. Game goofy. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact, man. Al Harrington is hilarious. That is good, man. That is good. Let's see. Salute to G. Reed. What you got, G. Reed? 
Charles, uh, Charles Duff face ass. So let's see you, bro. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. Y'all call her on call today. Tom's bitch look like Sam Suda. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> so we played a look look alike game and everybody is winning. Salute to you, bro. Salute to Project Leroy. What you got, PL? She thinks she gets American privileges in Thailand. Facts, bro. Access denied. No, nah, man. I'm telling you, man. Thai, I, I mean, I'm saying this because I've been there. Thai people are cool, man. I always said this, man. Thailand, in my opinion, it's like an adult Disney World. Like, as long as you got the money, you can literally do anything you want to do. I always advise, except drugs, except weed. When I went back there in 2008, but apparently weed's legal there now. So it's like, it's the best, man. My only thing, if I, and, I to get to see, and I got to see this firsthand, don't get drunk and start no shit with like no Thai dudes. So like, don't get drunk and like be grabbing on women. I'm like, the whole club will turn around and fuck you up. And won't nobody care because you had it, you brought it on yourself. Other than that, Thai people were, were cool in my experiences there, man. Let's get back to it. I don't accept that. But you... But just because of the truth. Oh, you can't see it out there. We were assaulted by six individuals. I was kicked in my head multiple times, and my okay, fiance so was hit with a chair, and between, we ending up so with a fine of 120000 for damage to property. And again, she's making it seem as if they were attacked. She's not going to mention, because she has a small channel, you know, TikTok followers or whatever. She's not going to mention that they destroyed that person's shop, whoever was her landlord. He'll, he'll be waiting for you at one. He's probably going to call you if you don't come by one. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like an official time, okay? okay? So try to get it all set up before yes. one o'clock. Now, if you watch the whole video toward the end, what you're going to see, she oh, was charged 120,000 baht for damages. That's interesting because we didn't see her do any damage to the shop. But stop the show. That's why you got good old Facebook. And of course, we're not gonna be able to play the video, but I saw the video where she went through breaking <laughs> all kind of glass. That's, now, of course, we can't show you. That's a still shot from the video. Exactly how she did it, but we can go ahead and try to give you the walkthrough of what happened after she did it. Let's play that clip. <laughs> Look at this shit. That's the aftermath. Oh yeah, that's experiencing Kia breaking hella stuff as she took all her things and left out of that place and then left the country, okay? Now, let me go ahead and read this particular post from a lady who lives in Thailand. She's a black lady married to an older uh, German man. Here's what she says. Look, people, don't be coming to Thailand with all that BS. These Thai people gave her a place to live and a job because she was homeless in Thailand, but she refused to pay rent for the room. So they asked her to leave and put her stuff outside. So she comes back and starts tearing the place up. This disrespectful behavior I don't condone in any country, but especially here, I'm disgusted and embarrassed, shaking my head. Now, those of you, uh, shout out to the brother who sent this clip to me. Now she's saying different things. The young lady is saying that she was paying rent and they just locked her out for no reason. This African-American lady who has a German man is saying that she was not paying rent. So she's an insider to the, to the complete story. And then if you guys remember as well, I did another video, it was about two months ago. It was, I believe it was in Thailand again. Y'all let me know. I know it was two sisters, but I think one of them was from the UK. One was from the UK, and they were they were both studs as well. Oh, scissor me timbers. The one stud, she was from the UK, and the other one was from the States. And the same shit, they, I think they had been accused of not paying, paying for somebody at a salon, like services, getting their nails done or something like that. So they tried to storm out and leave. One of them got locked in the store, and then the other one came back, smashing it in, trying to get, uh... Her, her girlfriend back because the, the the stud, the male of the relationship, she was a chick from the UK. That was just a couple months ago and they got locked up for it. I don't even know if they got released, that, that first couple. But yeah, man, they tripping with this shit, bro. Here's what I am gonna say. That 120,000 <laughs> Thai bot that she was fined is the equivalent of $3,306. Nigga, that ain't cheap, bro. $3,200, man. Her broke ass can't afford that shit. All right. And again, I saw sale. the video of what she was doing. Like, um, she had a weapon. She was definitely hitting things, breaking things inside of the shop. I don't know what escalated that part. I can't see that. But the reality is this. She went to a country with no money. 
All right. You're there in the country with no money. Also, I don't know what people feel about same sex relationships in Thailand. I think it's possible there or it's something that may happen there. I'm not sure what's going on, but it seems like she was being somewhat of a burden. And if she had oh, a lot of money, Bali? she wouldn't have to go through anything oh, that she was going through. Now, she did accuse uh, the guy of taking her phone. Uh, she did a accuse the guy of taking her um, um, her girlfriend's phone. Some of the items may have been missing. They were being locked out and things like that. Yeah, my bad. I think I misspoke. I don't think I don't believe that was Thailand. My bad. I think it was uh, somewhere. It was in Malaysia, maybe Singapore. I'll look I just want to say that I've experienced really silly things like happening overseas, especially in Uganda. And yeah, things like crazy things like that can happen. But you always got to remember and stop the show. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on this channel when your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson comes on, right? Things can happen in countries like that. Um, it's just something that occurs and you are always going to be looked at as if you're in the wrong. That's how they're going to see it. It's how they view it. It's how it is. And as an American, you're not going to have any leeway over it. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. That's just crazy to me, man. So make sure y'all subscribe to O'Shea Duke Jackson. I just looked it up. That old clip was from, it was actually Indonesia. It was actually Indonesia. So my apologies. I misspoke. I was not accurate. That did, that first story did not happen in uh, Thailand. That happened in Indonesia. Excuse me. So, um, y'all ruling that place don't play. Uh, even Dave Chappelle made, bro, I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you, man, it's, that's just crazy to me, man. Make sure you don't go nowhere. We still got plenty of content. Let's make sure I didn't miss any more Super Chats. Okay, I'm all caught up. Yeah, that's just crazy to me, man. Just to think, to traveling internationally, like, I think somebody said in the chat, bro, I don't leave my house without my wallet, man. You know why? Because I need access to cash. <laughs> you never know what something's going to happen. So to me, to travel internationally with $500 with no plan, that always tells me something wrong with you. Uh, retard at best. I don't know if I can say that, but <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, man? Bitch look like sticky fingers. Y'all are nuts, man. DeJuan Wagner. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got off the screen because y'all don't know the focus, bro. What's going on, Deep Breakdown? I see you. All right. Somebody asked me about this the other day, man. Salute to this. This comes from the content creator Jamari. Somebody actually asked me about this the other day. That cop in Tennessee. Someone said, "Hey, Coop, what do you think about that cop in Tennessee uh, who got like 500k?" I was like, "What you talking about?" I was like, "Oh, the one that had the, the one who had the train ran on her. The chicks. She was uh." Do I smell a whore? <laughs> Let's see. I'm surprised how many black people think that foreigners are sweet. The Latinos or Asians don't get busy if they need to. As as all as all. It, immigrants are timid it's i think it's just people i think people just i think a lot and i don't even think it's necessarily uh this is a black person thing people just take that american attitude with them man like i'm american man america <laughs> and I, I know i've seen that that ugly american i've seen plenty of times being overseas while that ugly american uh tag is given to so many people from america man but yeah just the, 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 the arrogance to me and shanika said it in the chat how in the hell do you break somebody's property? Then go to police. And I looked at her channel. Um, that the 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 young lady we just covered, a <laughs> little bill, and they were trying to leave the country. I don't know if they actually got out of there after that shit. Trying to duck that three grand they had to pay for destroying that people's property. But be that as it may, someone asked me about the Tennessee cop. We got an update. The one who banged six cops in her shop. She might have banged more cops. She might have banged more, man. It's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just dumb, Mike. It's just dumb, man. All right, let's get to it. Uh, excuse me. Tennessee cop update. The one who banged six cops. So last year, a story came out and absolutely broke the internet where this police officer named Megan Hall was fired from her position after it came out that she was smashing multiple guys on the police squad. There were many stories Thanks. and videos that went viral online. Of course, the memes were in the thousands, and posts making jokes about her, her husband, and their life went viral on any social media you can imagine. And, and real quick about her husband, if y'all don't remember this part, once it came out about all the dicks she was taking, because she likes her some beef, she likes it raw. Yeah, baby. If y'all remember, her husband took her back. Her husband was a cuck, bro. He was like, <laughs> you took how many dicks? I love you, baby. Oh, disgusting. General, she got absolutely cooked by the internet for months. And in the last update we had in this situation, she went on a news segment to announce that she would be filing a federal lawsuit against the city of Laverne. What happened to me during my employment at Laverne's police department, it should never happen to anyone. They isolated me. They shunned me. They accused me, 
and Bitch. they blamed me for becoming a victim. Now, last time, this was the initial reaction to this information going viral. Doing something while you're at work. I mean, for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report. I mean, yeah, they're on company time. They're using that taxpayer money and they weren't patrolling the streets. They were patrolling some pussy. It's just bad. It's like a stain, I guess. It'd be a wake up call for Laverne but also a wake-up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. And you guys will see here pretty soon that the entire department in Laverne seems to be completely corrupt. Of course, like I said, she did the interview where she announced her lawsuit. And finally, this would be the outcome where she's now getting this $500,000 settlement. As five officers and then the police chief all fired, the city then found itself facing a lawsuit filed by a former female officer. Well, tonight word comes the city has settled the case with a hefty payment. Now, the good thing is, guys, when it comes to this payment, the taxpayers will not be footing the bill. And this apparently is going to be coming out of some insurance policy the police department has. After that scandal, former police officer <laughs> Megan Hall sued the city. Then tonight, over a year later, the city of Laverne held a special meeting in which they decided they would pay out Megan Hall $500,000, officially ending that lawsuit. I'm telling y'all, I think she could have got a lot more money. It took less than five minutes. No. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Alderman Hobbs? Aye. Vice Mayor Dunn? Aye. Motion passes. For the Laverne City leaders to say yes, they'll pay former police officer Megan Hall half a million dollars. God damn, a couple things. First of all, Jamari, you can't be bigger than bigger than I am on my own screen. I gotta get make my screen a little bit bigger. That's the first thing, dog. Don't be doing that. Second of all, it only took five minutes. It only took five minutes for what's going on, Poppy Blanco. I see you. It only took five minutes for them to say, oh, yep, let's give her the five hundred k. Like what? Like what? What is going on here, man? I'm sorry, but can you guys even see that picture and just not laugh a little bit? She not like, even cute. Look at this basic ass Becky. If this ain't plain Jane, I bet she tastes like mayonnaise. No thank you, no man. Access denied. No thank you, this Becky. This shit went so viral. What message is that saying to uh, all the other employees? that you can sleep with the whole squad and also be half a million dollars richer. Alderman Dennis Waldron was the only dissenting vote. He's sending a message out to uh, to everybody in the world said, come to Laverne, S sue Laverne because they're gonna settle. So this man right here seems to be the only one that actually stood on business. Basically saying we're not gonna bow down to the feet of the local hoe. Reports details between officers on duty and on city property, intimate photos and videos shared among officers, and silence from the police chief. And it's very likely that she was not the only female officer within this department engaging in these type of activities. I'm thinking that this problem was actually a lot more widespread, and so they probably just wanted the investigation to end before more and more shit was uncovered. While I was aspiring, to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. I mean, let's not act like you were some saint. You guys will see pretty soon here that she was quite complicit in all of this different sexual activity. <laughs> yes, I she mean, was. the fact that her husband actually stayed with her after this whole scandal went public. He looked like a cuck. It's just absolutely insane to me. Now, in her lawsuit, I found some very interesting information in regards to how all of this came about. And after reading the filing, I'm actually surprised that she didn't get more money because of the power levels involved, as well as the digital footprint of evidence the chief of the station left behind. In this situation, you really have four main players. Of course, you have Megan Hall, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Sergeant Henry McGowan, and most importantly, Chief Burrell Davis. And while ninjas. these might be the four main people, keep in mind that she also had relations with him, him, and even him. Now let me take you guys back to day one, where Megan Hall shows up excited to start her career as a 24-year-old married woman. She claims that from the very start, the chief in charge told her to lie about past mental health issues. When they conducted a psychological evaluation on her during the interview process, she of course gets the job, and a bunch of other officers apparently start flirting with her right off the bat. The aforementioned Thanks Sergeant the Lewis Powell was one of her supervisors, and this is apparently the first man that she would have a 
sexual relationship with. Apparently one morning he told her to go to the extra training office for some jujitsu lessons and they ended up partaking in a whole nother workout. This relationship <laughs> would continue for months and out of all the guys that she would eventually be with, she definitely seemed to get the closest to him and it sounds like he would even get possessive over her. Now word would obviously spread around the department that she was giving it up and eventually she would go to a Memorial Day weekend party where she would apparently be the only woman invited. Well by the end of the night, she hooks up with this guy Officer Maglico, literally minutes after they put his wife to sleep while the party raged on. After having sex, they eventually get back into the hot tub with several other officers, and everyone watches them while he does wild things to her using his fingers. This news spreads all over the department, there were also explicit videos and pictures of her being passed around, and Sergeant Powell was apparently pissed. Hall claims this is when he really started to demand that she continue to be with him, at this time, Sergeant Henry McOwen would then allegedly offer her payment to create an OF page, as well as Feet Finder, where Hall says he wanted to watch her with other men. This has nothing to do with nothing. We're all freaks in our own right. I've said that before. Theo Coop. Uh, you filthy motherfucker. I'm filthy, but I don't like feet. Access denied. I don't like feet. I think you feet people are, are weirdos. You. Lose. I got my own. We all got our own things. Y'all might call me weird too. I don't you care. But filthy motherfucker. I think feet are weird. People that like want to see pictures of women's feet. Why they're fucking feet? I don't get. I don't get the foot fetish. That's my point. He also claims that don't Sergeant Mick Owen offered her a promotion to sleep with him, which she apparently did. What's so up, at Michelle? this point, she's been with all kinds of guys, and everyone around the office <laughs> they knows like it. God. They've even seen pictures and videos and whatnot to back it up. And this is where the chief comes in, pretty much the head honcho here, and things get crazy. Understand the chief had a burner phone that he called Old Boy, where he would text Sergeant McOwen frequently. Chief Davis apparently got a picture of Hall sent to his burner phone, tip. where she had Sergeant Lewis's foot in her mouth, to what? which he said, who dat? Hall. Lewis. He on it again. He swears he ain't. She nor her husband took that picture. She has a tight little ass though. Yup. The chief would then go on to say, The f clue is saying to these hoes cause normal pimp shit ain't working. No f***ing clue. He killing it. Maybe goody shit. Gotta be. I can't do it. Gorilla pimp. Only way I know. Does she talk to you? <laughs> no. She's already getting too much attention. Oh, I see. It's all good. I saved her for the last time. I wish I could tell her who she's f***ing can't do shit for her. I wish I could too. Then we could both play. So it sounds like both of these men wanted her attention badly and felt they had more power than Sergeant Powell within the department. First of all, this dude Sergeant Powell don't even look like a real person. This ninja look like he AI. And why are they so thirsty for this basic ass Becky, bro? I don't get it. Obviously, these text messages are evidence that he knew she was involved in a sexual relationship with one of her supervisors and chose to not do anything about it, which is a bad look when you're the one in charge. Over time, Chief Davis continues to receive explicit photos and videos of Megan Hall to this burner phone. Megan even goes as far as to tell Chief Davis directly that she is scared of Sergeant Powell and his possessiveness over her. Still, the chief does nothing but begin to speculate on how to save his own ass, and then she still goes to a hot tub party with three male officers and dances around topless while they pour shots into her mouth. So what? despite her now formally complaining about these issues, she continued to put herself in these types of situations. Keep in mind doing all of this while married. She was basically letting these men do whatever they wanted to her both on and off the clock. Around the department, they knew an investigation was going to begin, and they seemingly wanted her gone. So Chief Davis terminated her after the behavior in the hot tub, with this story that obviously went super viral. So she then sues the city, the walls start coming down, and everyone starts getting investigated, and eventually Chief Davis and Sergeant McOwen are both terminated as well. Let me grab these super chats real quick. This must be Slim Pickens in that one horse. There. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking in my real world. Before you typed it, I was just thinking that. What is it, Laverne? Tennessee. I know we got some people in Tennessee. I know Jay Gray in Memphis. I don't know how far uh, Memphis is from Laverne's, but somebody in Tennessee, let me know Laverne's get down because y'all looking <laughs> at least a law enforcement in Laverne's looking thirsty as fuck. Let me grab these super chats real quick. Let's see. 
<laughs> we say, oh man, we, the police don't stop with the, with the feet talk people. Uh, Access denied. We all got things. We all got our things. I'm, I'm trying not to judge people for their freakiness because I don't want to be judged on mine. But uh, feet, not my thing. Especially Thanks pictures of feet. Like, what is that? I, I don't ask, bitch, hey, bitch, send me your titties. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all done said we all done some some uh some uh some some some, some, some pictures may or may not you know hey bitch let me see your boobs all right uh, I think that's normal but let me see your feet no access denied uh charger boy nine one two just subscribe salute appreciate you charger boy let's go man let me write a super chat real quick salute to MK male patriarchy right unbelievable facts goddamn right salute to you MK for the two dollar super chat. Salute to from downtown 296. If Law and Order and Reno 911 had a baby, <laughs> that's a fact, bro. That's a fact, and that's a reminder, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Laverne's Tennessee Police Department. Do better, PD. Do better, Police Department. We way better than this. This is a, a paid for do better Police Department commercial. Okay, what's going on? Now, there's some kids in the pool. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Let me guess. The kids in the pool are black. Yes, yes, they're black. Shut up. Shut the fuck up kids that are black in your pool are not bothering you lady what are they doing they're drowning no black babies no 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 black babies <laughs> i'm sorry that, bit... <laughs> that clip makes me laugh i don't know if y'all find it funny it makes me laugh salute to you bro salute to messy michelle what you got messy michelle with the ten dollar super chat Find the money y'all there's poor people Thanks around for the <laughs> Your broke ass. <laughs> black babies. Say the black babies. What's up? Make sure y'all, if y'all not subscribed to Messy Michelle, y'all already know. It's certain people that if you rock with me, you should automatically be subscribed to. And Messy Michelle is definitely one of those people. What you got, Messy? Horror them all 2024. Where was her husband all this whole time? Exactly. Michelle, he was in the back. He was in the back route playing the cup that he is. He's sitting back there. Somebody said it probably after one of those parties. He came home and tongue kissed her. <laughs> Filthy he liked that shit. This cuck, beta male dude is just disgust. Can you imagine? Can y'all fellas? Can you imagine that shit? No, <laughs> he's doing the same. No, DP he's doing the same thing. <laughs> Erroneous, he say no, nah, cool. Stop the cat. We gonna be doing the same thing. At least you be attractive, man. Not old, not old plain, plain mayonnaise. No, no seasoning on her chicken ass. Becky, we had up here a second ago. No, no mas. You. Lose. <laughs> but yeah, no, Michelle, her husband was there right with all of it because he's a pervert. He's a degenerate just like he is. He's just the, he's just the, the weirder degenerate. Salute to you, Michelle. Make sure y'all subscribe to Macy Michelle's channel. Let's see. Salute to Fedoy. What you got, Fedoy? Never, ever under, underestimate the power of Virginia. That's right, bro. That is true, Fedoy. I got to one, one, one. Why am I acting as if I can't understand this? You, you're absolutely right, bro. Let's see. Every time I come to Theo's live, he has a new clip. I do, Bryce. I do. I have too many clips, man. Let's see. Never underestimate the power of the uh, the of Virginia. It remains undefeated for a reason. They clearly lack order. That's a fact, bro. Order, 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 order. <laughs> Salute to you for doing. Let's see. Am I called up? I believe I am. All right. Let's let's finish this off. The burner phone text messages in them in the end. After the investigation that got him fired. They would conclude, Chief Davis was aware of inappropriate sexual activity between officers, including superior officers and subordinates, as well as the shockingly widespread sharing within his department of nude photos and videos of female officers. Chief Davis admittedly received some of these inappropriate photographs and videos. He never voluntarily disclosed doing so. Chief Davis never reported this activity to the city's human resources department, nor did he discipline any of the officers involved. When Officer Hall was hospitalized <laughs> on December 8th of 2022, after a self-deletion attempt by the way, Chief Davis did not report his prior knowledge of her sexual activity with Sergeant Lewis Powell. When Hall and Powell denied inappropriate activity during the initial investigation, Chief Davis did not disclose to Director Patton or others that he knew or even believed them to be lying. Finally, the documentary evidence available to us compels the conclusion that Chief Davis misled Director Patton in his January 6th interview and that he misled this investigation in his January 23rd interview. We find, therefore, that by failing to report or discipline officers engaged in inappropriate 
factual activity, withholding information from city officials conducting the initial investigation, and facilitating a hostile work environment in the sharing of nude <laughs> images of subordinate employees, Chief Davis impeded the initial investigation contrary to city policy and permitted, if not encouraged, conduct potentially contrary to state and federal law. We further find on the basis of the documentary evidence available to us that he impeded the city's January 6 investigation of his prior knowledge and this investigation by untruthful <laughs> responses regarding his text message correspondence with Sergeant McOwen. Now let's be clear here, to me this woman is far from a victim. At the end of the day, she was married, while happy to be the community bus if you will, you know everyone got their ride. Now with that being said, everyone in this situation seems to be a complete sack of shit as well. Yeah. A lot of these people were married, some of them had children, like all the way from the top to the bottom, it looks really bad. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm surprised that she didn't get more money. Was she for the streets? Absolutely. But was there also a lot of evidence against people more powerful than her? Yes, there was. And that's a fact, man. Yeah, she was 304 out here liking it raw with her whore ass. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, she was out here. Do I smell a whore? But these ninjas in the damn police department, they was just as bad. <laughs> They were just as bad, bro. And in these type of situations, especially where the city is getting sued, a lot of times these payments are absolutely massive. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Y'all let me down below what you guys think about this crazy oh, shit, I'm all, story. I'm bad. I'm blocking the homie uh, Jabbar. Let me get out of here. Yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe to Jabbar. I like his content, man. I like his content. I'm sure it's just one of thousands that occur every single day. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the tan Superman. And some other for the streets women out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. That's crazy, man. She got 500K in five minutes. Officer Cream Pie. <laughs> Officer Cream Pie. <laughs> that is to game. Yeah, I saw that. Somebody had it. That had to be Photoshop. I saw that. I saw that flag. Um, Jetway Jesus just subscribed. Salute. Appreciate you, JJ. Yeah, I saw that. That had to be Photoshop, Larry. I saw the same thing. I was like, hold up, game bang unit. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, we move it on. Let me make sure I didn't uh, miss any super chats. Make sure I didn't miss any super chats. I believe I am all caught up. Let's see, I got this one here from the homie Fedoy. Let's see. All right. I've talked about this for what, uh, if you had to guess how many days of this, all these, <laughs> if you had to guess how many days of all these niggas call off work, man, they, I don't know, bro, they, every time they call off work, they're going over there, going to uh, visit old May, uh, Mayo Patty to, bang, bang, it's good, too busy beating again, bro, I bet crime is through the roof in Laverne, in Laverne, Tennessee, because they too busy fucking, <laughs> can't get nothing done, man, they, bro, look. stop it. Get some help. People need some help, bro. All right. So, y'all know y'all know uh, how we get down right here. We have dash cam. I said, but we're going to mix it up a little bit today. I, I told you guys for a while, I had, I just, not nah, just, well, yeah, yeah. A couple months ago, I just got on to, like, the catfishing thing. Like, I knew, I never watched catfish before. I knew of it existence. I thought catfish was just when you hook up with a chick or, or guy, I guess a guy as well, and they don't look nothing like their pictures. Like, they look like a completely different person. I didn't know the significance of catfish in which, like, people were taking money from people, like, scamming people. I just thought, you know, you, you go hook up with a chick. She, sent, she sends you a picture from 20 years ago and when she was 200 pounds lighter, and you get there, she a big Shirley. Has Theo Coopin, has Theo Coopin catfish? You're goddamn right. But I ain't lose no money, though. I just was disappointed when I got there. <laughs> that's all that that's all that was. Did I bang? Bang! Bang! It's good. You're goddamn right. It's not the point. All right. Uh Patty Mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 Patty, I couldn't think. I was think, I was trying to think of that, but I couldn't think of it. I, was, I think I think I got close. Let's see. Salute to me, Black Chisholm. What you got, Black Chisholm? He said just showing Theo, just showing love Theo. Congrats on 100 k My God. Bang! Bang! It's good! Woo! I be forgot. I be forgetting. I got a hundred k. Hundred k. Big dog in this bitch. All right. <laughs> you two, run me my plaque, yo. Appreciate you, uh, Black Chisholm. So we gonna watch some dash cam. What you never seen catfish? Well, I never before. Before a month ago, Alexander X, I never seen catfish before. I knew of it. I knew of it. I remember with, uh, the football player. What's my man? Um, uh, Man, uh, Manti Teo. I remember hearing about him getting catfish. But I just thought catfish was you hook up with a chick. Uh, you meet a chick online. 
and I guess a dude vice versa. If it's you know, if you're a woman or whatever, you meet a, meet a chick online, she send you an old picture. You get there and you 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 just like, man, bitch, just bitch, just don't look like you. But I didn't know catfish were like people were like scamming people. I did not know that. I learned something new, and it's glorious, glorious. I'll tell y'all my catfish story one day. Not now. It's funny. Not now. I don't feel like it. All right, let's get into it. Catfish right here. Catfish. Mary, y'all let me know. We can rock with this for the first time. If we like it, we can do it again. Catfish, married woman sends another man $250,000. Let's get it. What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented <laughs> by socialcatfish.com. We got a special episode for you guys today. <laughs> Our team traveled down to I still don't to get to know a couple named Brian and Sarah. The two have been married for 22 years, and they have stuck by each other's side through it all. Their relationship was put to the test when Brian found out about Sarah's online friend named John. Sarah claims her intentions were only to be friends. The two messaged each other and started an online relationship. She has sent hundreds of thousands of dollars in hopes to meet this man in person. She reached out to us to verify his true identity. Let's jump into it, guys. My name is Sarah. I'm this goofy ass married. Man. Have been for 22 years. <laughs> my husband is very supportive with all my weird, crazy wackiness. He's very open minded when it comes to that. I'm truly very, very lucky that I found the person I did. Oh gosh, this is gonna be, this is so embarrassing. I want the truth, Shanika. I am obsessed with penis. I have a penis that looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, one that looks like a dragon, crocheted ones. Um, any costume that I had, I would pin penises on it. It's Look at this shit off top, off top. Look at this shit. If this ain't the biggest red flag, your woman, as addicted to dick, I mean, well, I mean, I, they all addicted to dick, except the studs, I guess. But this shit, this is the biggest red flag. The condemn, condemn man says, "Hey yo, what the fuck?" If this ain't this off top, y'all, we ain't even got into it yet. Condemn man, we ain't even got into it yet. This is the biggest. This is one goofy ass woman. This is a goofy ass woman that no man should take seriously, let alone Mary. And this is the other thing as well. We gonna get into her and her foolishness, but I'm also looking at this dude. Her husband, because he allowed all this shit to go down, bro. But this is a red flag off top. When your woman walking around at a party covered with dicks. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dick Island says, Mark, who? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was the new drop, Thanos? What was it, man? She up here with this dick eyed. This shit is crazy, bro. Just like I was a Christmas tree one time and the ornaments were a penis. <laughs> Look at it, it's covered in dicks. I'm just quirky and weird and everything when it comes to That's not quirky or weird, you're a pervert. Call it what it is. And I don't always stop, stop smart water. and think of the consequences to my actions. Brian supported all of Sarah's hobbies and interests. He even agreed it was okay for Sarah to have friendships with strangers over the internet. It's beta. I talk to people online, um, it's not a new thing. I don't think it is wrong for somebody to have relationships of both sexes. Do we let other people in our sex life? No. Thanks for the Would tip. Would he be open to it if I did? If I wanted that? Probably, just because that's how he is. Listen to her talk, bro. Um, would he do it? I don't think so. Brian trusted Sarah. He didn't suspect anything when he caught his wife chatting with John through Instagram direct message. <laughs> the first message was on Instagram, your normal conversation where it comes to when you're trying to meet some or when you're meeting somebody like your hobbies and all that kind of stuff. Then it just kind of snowballed with, are you married? And I was like, yes, I'm married. And I asked him if he was married, he was not. He asked me, you know, the standard questions of whether I had children or not, which I do not. I was looking for, I guess, friendship, nothing else. But as time went on, I felt that that was not the case. Even though 
um, I'm married, it's still nice to hear that, um, that people find me attractive. So it was nice. John and Sarah would talk <laughs> all through the morning and night. The relationship started to become more intimate by the day. I thought he was very nice. Obviously, he was um, easy on the eyes. Blue eyes. Brown hair. No beard, but sometimes Welcome he does have a beard. Well. He looks like he probably works out um, quite a bit. Um, nice, like, six-pack. Um, he does have some tattoos. Um, on One's on his chest. Um, and then his arm is tatted up as well. But to me, he's just a very attractive man. And it was nice to have somebody that looked like that think that I was pretty. And real quick, just to say something, because I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't seen this catfish and stuff until like a month ago, but I watched a bunch of them. Actually, the past couple of days, I watched a bunch of them. This is light work compared to some of them, E. But here's the deal. One thing I, I, I'll i notice, I'll throw this out here now. Y'all let me know I could be wrong. But I think a lot of these people who get catfish, they're, I think a lot, I think a lot of them, are, a, good, a good portion of them are lonely, but I also think a lot of them, man, they're kind of narcissists, man. And the reason I say that is because of this shit. They got men and women that get catfish as well. I noticed a the thing. They're usually older people. And then the second thing I noticed is that the person that they're talking to, the alleged, the alleged person, is always way out of their league. They're always way out of the person's league. This woman think that this guy would be attracted to her. Like, bitches, you stupid. <laughs> There is some loneliness involved in it. A lot of times they're older, but they're also, man, out of their fucking mind. Because they'll be 50, 60 years old thinking some hot, handsome, attractive 25 or 30-year-old man want them. And vice versa. A 60-year-old dude with no money thinking this 21-year-old model wants you. It's like, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Who in the fuck do you think you are? Let's get back to it. There's something wrong in their head, man. Say that he loved me, that he wanted to take care of me he had feelings for me maybe my actions came across as I'm still talking to him usually once a week he would use the terms of endearment babe honey love all the time never my name before Sarah's online adventure life was simple Bills were paid on time. The two didn't have kids, but they loved their cat like one. She enjoyed talking to John, but he just seemed to always have a problem that involved money. Shortly after I met him, he um, got deployed to Syria. Supposedly, um, his um, accounts were frozen. He got injured. He got shot. On a mission. He needed the money um, <laughs> that I sent him to come back from Syria. He had to have the money to be able to get the flight because he needed to leave before the mission was up because he wasn't feeling well. Yeah, I don't want anybody to die because they can't get basic needs. John's request for money didn't stop. The request seemed like they would never come to an end. All Sarah wanted to do was meet this man in person, so she sent even more money. He guilted her by sending these photos of his wounds from the battlefield. After the first time he asked for money is probably when it started going downhill. I probably sent him money every week to two weeks for probably a good solid um, six to eight months. I cashed in my <laughs> a couple life insurances. And I cashed in um, my retirement fund, um, and I sent him 100% of the money. What? Had a Discover card for um, 15000 and I sent him that as well. And that's maxed out beyond maxed, um, because he would... Uh, this is 
terrible, terrible. Oh, I hate talking about this because this makes me feel stupid. You are a dumb he fuck. Would pay that and then um, have me withdraw more money once the balance got down. Where I Mill reality lesson says, how dumb can you be? Was dude in the military? Bro, and that's the thing. And I noticed this as well, MRL. That's another scam that they use. A lot of them say they're in the military. And it, I mean, I guess to me, it's kind of surprising that these people wouldn't have, even if you haven't served, there's kind of like basic information that you would know about the military. But but then again, I guess if you never serve, you, I, I'm, I'm, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt of not knowing. But a lot of these people don't even have the basic concept of the military is that if you're in the military, you have, you have insurance. It's called TRICARE that covers all that shit. You don't have to pay out of pocket for health care or any type of services like that when you're in the military. But in my real, a lot of them don't know because a lot of a lot of these people get scammed just off that because a lot of them use the, a lot of scammers use the same excuse. I'm in the military and I got hurt. I need somebody to pay the bill and I'm overseas somewhere. Like when I was in Iraq, when I was stationed in Iraq, we had we had fucking hospitals in there too. You know what I'm saying? We had medical facilities there, man. Like what the fuck? I, what do you think happened if someone is in Iraq and Afghanistan and they get shot? You know what I'm saying? They 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 fix them there, then they send me. Yeah, y'all know my point. Um, they don't know this shit. Some more money, and then that payment would bounce. John had all of Sarah's personal information, <laughs> emails, passwords, debit and credit card pin numbers too. When we looked over her discovery credit card transactions, we could see when John was making the payments. He would take cash advances and then pay the card off. This built trust with Sarah and also made her believe that he was real. The problem was all of the payments that he made ended up getting returned. Over time, Sarah was left with a $15,000 credit debt. And had checks um, sent, had like blank checks. So um, I cashed those checks through my personal bank. Like I wrote myself a check. What? Sent him the $9,000. And um, that money bounced and, um, I had to pay that money back. He has my social security. He has my driver's license. He has my full name. He knows who my parents' names are. He knows my sister's name. He could destroy me. Why? And he said she got dick fish. She did, bro. <laughs> Why does this stranger know all this information about you? Your social security. Oh, what? What? For sure. I haven't sent him any money now. It's been two weeks, two weeks <laughs> right, now Thanos. Um, that I had the last time I sent him money. And that was simply because he was starving. The amount started to pile up and Sarah lost track of how much money she was sending. He needed money for food, water, medicine, hospital fees, plane tickets. His stories never ended. This guy was either a scammer or the unluckiest man on the planet. They never video chatted and Sarah is still claiming she was never in love with John. After sending thousands of dollars just in plane tickets, John finally made it on a plane and left Syria. But he was <laughs> detained in Pennsylvania as soon as he exited the plane. Once um, things progressed and um, John wanted money, I did not originally tell my husband. I kept it um, a secret. Exactly. That's why I don't feel bad for her. They're going to try to play the sympathy card. You don't give people info like that. Positive. Exactly, bro. I don't feel bad for her because this woman, because they, they kind of talk to her like this woman, like it's a little, it's something kind of wrong with her. But fuck that. We're going to hold people accountable over here. You know what you was doing, lady. You knew exactly what you was doing. You know why? Because you didn't tell your husband. She knew what she was doing, man. He knew how to play exactly, on my weaknesses. There's that little bit of hope that he's not lying and he's not a piece of shit. And that if I can keep him alive, <laughs> that maybe he'll find a way to get out of his situation that he's in now. I want to know why the heck 
our military is treating people like this. He's not <laughs> being provided like your basic needs. <laughs> she think she think you in the military and you can't eat. Oh man, again, I know everyone didn't serve. I understand that. I, that's not lost to me. But it's like basic shit. People know Welcome if you in the military, Rock. you get three. Was it was it, uh uh three hots in the cot? Like the military covers your housing, your insurance, things like that. You don't get rich in the military, but they cover your basic needs like a roof over your head, medical facilities, dining facilities. So it's just crazy to me that just basic information, this slow bitch don't yeah, know it. Now he's me. in the United States, and I, I said, you're close enough, like you're eight hours away from me. Why don't I take a road trip? I can take a road trip. I can take some time. I have time off. We can meet somewhere. I want I want him to follow through with what he has promised me, which is one coming to meet me um, because I would I in the beginning, I did want to meet him. I thought it would be nice. I thought it would be cool. Um, and my husband was OK with it at that time. I have nothing to hide. I'm owning my mistake. I'm owning what I did. And I hope that people respect me for that because I'm, I have nothing to hide. I don't feel like I did, I necessarily did anything wrong. What? I think most of the blame lays on this particular person because he was deceitful. No accountability. This bitch. I mean, don't get it wrong. He a scammer. He a piece of shit. But you didn't do anything wrong. Why didn't you tell your husband? Did I love him? No, not not in that sense. And at this point, um, do I still care for him? I care for the person who I originally met. And it's sad to me. Sarah cleared out her 401k, maxed out all of her credit cards, what? and sent her life savings to this man. What? This has forced her to pick up multiple part-time jobs to be able to survive. We are struggling way more than um, we necessarily would have to. And then I think it got to the point where this has definitely sent me into a depression financially. Um, it's, it's ruined us. The couple are doing everything they can to get back on their feet. Sarah opened up an account on Feet Finder and has resorted to selling images of her feet to people online. To make <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what we just talking about feet a second ago? This bitch so broke, she gotta sell feet pics. <laughs> and, and for you, for you feet freaks in the chat. Do y'all like fat feet? Is that how it works? <laughs> Is that how it works? Do y'all like fat feet too? <laughs> who want to see? Who want to see this bitch feet? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's get back to it. Has nothing I to do with nothing. Would try to hustle like by selling feet pictures and that kind of weird stuff as well. It's not like I'm Thanks rolling dough or anything like that. I'm trying to make a living, and you can sell feet pictures, but um, and stuff like that. I only sold a couple of those, um, and then um, a couple people um, bought me pedicures. I confessed everything to my husband and told him how much Stop. money. Um, I Stop putting the feed emoji in the chat. Access denied. Do not put the feed emoji in the chat. I hate that I have shit. Sent John um, and everything, and you know he basically said it, it's money, and we'll deal with it as it comes along. <laughs> I just kind of want to know if this person <laughs> is actually who he says he is. I want closure. It's always on my mind. Oh, man. I don't like big feet. <laughs> Sarah provided us with a ton of information. She kept all of the receipts for all the gift cards she purchased for John, the checks she wrote, and every cash advance she took on her credit cards. By using the tools on our website, socialcatfish.com, our search specialist team was able to find the true identity of the man in the photos that John was claiming to be. Oh, Sarah Sheila. and her husband were waiting patiently to find out if John was lying about who he truly was. After a few <laughs> days of digging into everything, we felt that we had all the information to give clarity to Sarah and John. We sat down with Sarah first to get more insight on her relationship with John. 
just so you know, like Brianna and I are married. We own this business together. You know, we've been out and like, you know, there's guys that will give her attention or even, I know you guys in the YouTube comments always leaving comments for her, but I laugh at it. For me, it's like not that big of a deal within boundaries, right? Or still showing somewhat respect. But like when you open yourself up to like having somebody tell you you're beautiful all the time in these long conversations, do you think that like, you know, feelings start to evolve over the, that time because, you know, that those words are being traded, you know, all the time. Did I care about him? Yes. Um, was I hoping to meet him in person? Yes. Why? You're Did married. I have feelings for him that I probably shouldn't have? Yes. Um, do I still have them? N no. I don't think Stop so. Stop the cap. Because of everything that he's done. Um, but it is very, it's very difficult <laughs> to admit to yourself that you got played by somebody and that somebody is that cruel to do that to another human being. And I, I probably liked him. I liked the attention that he, want, he gave me. And I figured if I continued to do the things that he asked me to do and continued to talk to him, that he would continue to give me that praise. And he, so it Let me grab these super chats real quick. I don't want to get too far by. Uh, Fedoy says, I'm here for the stud in Thailand. <laughs> so to you, Fedoy. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That chick, oh, fucking brains. Marbles for braids. Um, Juice says, she's worse than Seth and Superbad. Her penis at, yeah, 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 bro. I forgot about it. I forgot. I remember Superbad. Superbad was funny, bro. I remember, uh, I remember that shit. Yeah, man. Sure, I, dude, that'd be a red flag off top, man. This chick out here walking around, can't walk out of her house without, without some type of dick attachment on her. No. Access denied. Kick rock, so salute to you, Juice. Channel member for 12 months. Salute to you, Juice. Jay Gray, channel member for six months. Her uh, Dickpedia page, <laughs> nuts. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Stop that shit, Jay Gray. <laughs> Let's see. Salute to... Project Leroy, what you got, P.O.? This is what the red pill garbage gets you, fellas, man. Salute to you, bro. Let's see. I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell is wrong with uh this dude, man. I don't know what his or her wife. I mean, I meant her husband. I don't know what the hell is wrong with that dude. Her husband gullible too. Yeah, bro. Man, you know, I don't think he's gullible, man. I think well, we're gonna find out because we're gonna talk to him here in a second, man. I'll let y'all warm your opinion, man. Let's get to it. Let's get back to it. Kind of became Kind of like an addiction, I guess, is how you view it. We wanted to give Sarah the time to talk about her relationship with John. From how she described it, it seemed that there was intimacy involved, but her husband was okay with it. Brian then what sat down with about? us to give his perspective on the situation, and this is what he had to say. Hey, Brian. Hi, Brian. Obviously, we spoke to Sarah. You know, this has been going on for a few years. Walk us through, like, you know, what's been going on. I just... See it as it's just another day. <laughs> it's it's just more of the usual. So up until this point, you you still don't know the full story or the details. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about John. I didn't even know his name until the other day. Exactly. The only thing she really told me is that she was scammed out of about sixty thousand dollars, and it was all investments that she lost. There may have been losses more than sixty thousand. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. Right. Yep, yep, that's fine. The, the only thing I wanted to do when she told me was um, I just wanted to support her any way I could because I knew she was in a really bad place. When she continued to talk to him, like, how did that make you feel? Honestly, I didn't know about that until today. Your guys' relationship, your your guys' relationship, but you know our goal is to, to help you guys out to bring closure. Sounds like you know you're incredibly supportive, which is, I mean, how you keep a marriage going, right? We wanted to talk to each of them individually to make sure that we weren't surprising anyone about the information that we were going over. Brian didn't seem to know about a lot of the details between Sarah and John. To be honest, it didn't seem like he wanted to know but he did want to support his wife, whether John was real or not. We brought them together and it was time to let them know what we had found. We did happen to find the real person in the image. The real man in the image, his name is Anthony Tingle. 
he's not a celebrity or anybody that you guys would know, but he is somebody that has his image stolen all the time. It turns out that John was lying about who he said he was. These images were stolen from a man by the name of Anthony. This man has nothing to do with the scam. He's a regular guy and whoever was behind this profile using the alias John stole all of this innocent man's photos off of his social media profile. Unfortunately, John does not exist and this whole thing was a romance scam. That makes me feel better to know that that we have, I have a name now and I know that this person is using his image. So that makes me feel that makes me feel better. He's a victim too. Yeah, because he's a victim. Yes. yes. What are things looking like for you guys? Like how how are you guys seeing things moving forward? <clears throat> I don't. Joey says no joke. He might be slow. I don't think he's slow, bro. I don't think he's slow. He says he don't have no backbone, bro. He doesn't have a backbone. Every single man is not going to be. What do you call it? The alpha man, the leader. I was Suta V Ben Israel. He was talking about this in this chat yesterday. I was in the chat. Every man, not every man is not gonna be a leader, man. That's just what it is. It's just a pure numbers game. Every man is not gonna be a leader. Every man is not gonna be the type of man that you could follow. Every man is not gonna is take on that leadership role. Some ninjas is betas. You got this is what you got alpha, you got betas. And some dudes just, just lack a backbone. And he's one of those people who just lacks. Look at him, man. Look at his body language. Finding out that his wife was, well, she didn't physically cheat, but I'm calling that cheating of some sort, while sending this man, which he thinks is $60,000, and it's going to be almost, what, four times that amount? I just think he weak, man. There's a There are weak men out here. I just think he's a weak man. More than likely, he grew, he grew up being raised by a weak man, or the other uh, thing that's likely, he probably grew up without a dad his damn self, man. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, though. I know I've learned my lesson, um, and I will never be doing anything like this ever again. Um, and um, I can only hope that it'll make us stronger. I just, I just feel stupid. It's just money. It's, I know, but... Is there anything that you want to say to Brian? I just think he's weak, man. No, just that I love him and that I am super glad that he's willing to stand by me through um, the worst thing that I've ever done and that I will probably, hopefully, ever do and that he's here to help me through it and that he is, he's been my rock the whole time. I mean, I would not be here if it wasn't for him. And you notice she had the opportunity to say something to him. You notice, y'all notice, did y'all notice what, what she didn't say? If y'all didn't catch that, you know one thing she didn't say was, I'm sorry. She didn't even have the wherewithal to apologize to him, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm facts, bro. Any way I can. I know. And it's just money. I, I don't care if it's $50,000, $100,000, $200,000. I don't care. It's just money. He, he's my soulmate. He's my better half um, and everything. So I can't imagine my life without him. Um, so that's where I'm at. We took the next steps and looked into all the crypto wallets a few days later. So, you know, now that things have kind of died down and you've got time to think about some of the <laughs> stuff that we went through, where are you at? I'm just Hell ready yeah. for it to be done. I'm ready to um, cut off all contact with him now, um, hopefully. We looked into all of Sarah's financial information. She sent over $250,000 just Absolutely. in Bitcoin to John. So here's how it worked. Sarah first exhausted all of her accounts savings and 401k along with her credit cards she would buy gift cards and send the codes to john on the back of the cards john would receive the code and sell the gift cards on websites like paxful all you need to do is have the code that was on the back of that gift card and the website will buy your gift card for around 80 cents on the dollar she would then receive money from other people from around the world that John was also Thanks for the tip. Next, she'd take that money that she received and put it into Cash App. They have a feature in which you can turn your cash into Bitcoin. That's when she would send all of the funds to John's Bitcoin wallet. 
We were able to put a really nice crypto graph together for you. I will have to admit this is one of the largest reports we have ever created for anyone. Wow. A few of the accounts were actually labeled investment scam. And what that tells me is these accounts have already been flagged. And then we spent some time going through the uh, list of people that you either sent or received money from. We were able to pull all of their Facebooks, all of their phone numbers. Thanks for the tip. What we found were a bunch of normal people. So they thought they were just sending it to me, not that I was sending it <laughs> on to somebody else. Unfortunately, these people are victims just like you. Luckily, it's quite possible for us to be able to trace who is behind these crypto wallets. We have also reached out to all of the other people who sent money to Sarah so we can hopefully get more answers on why they were sending her money. As far as you being online, has this been a lesson for you? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, yeah, not doing this anymore. <laughs> Goofy it is. I know you like being on the internet. You like making friends um, for yourself. Just stay safe. Yeah. I learned my lesson. We will not be sending anybody um, money unless it's somebody like physically, like I'm delivering it to them and I know who they are and they like, they're super Welcome close friends with me well. or they're a, actually a family member of mine and I am hand delivering it to them. Um, I will never do this ever again. She gonna do that shit again. What you say, uh, Somebody said in the chat, uh, oh, hell no, retirement money too since DVD. Yeah, she cashed in a 401k. All in all, it was about $250,000, a quarter million dollars she sent that dude. And I don't think, somebody said that they probably rich low-key. I don't think they rich. You know why? Because she, she was selling feet pics. <laughs> when things got tight, she was just selling them. She was showing them cankles. Let me grab these super chats real quick. South 343 says, you don't want to know. He don't want to know if she's, play, if she's playing him. Keep it, yeah, keep it on low. Exactly, bro. Exactly, man. I'm picking up what you're putting down. He don't want to know if she's playing him. Keep it on the low. That's what this dude is, man. He like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't know anything about it. And even the host said, like, it doesn't seem like he necessarily wants to know. One of those dudes is like, if I ignore it, it's not happening. Sad, man. That's crazy, man. Salute to you, South 343. Salute from downtown 296. If that was my wife, I'd be standing beside her, all right? I'd be standing beside her in the courtroom. She'd be defended, and I'd be the plaintiff. Facts. You're goddamn right. If this was my goddamn wife, he has he has, he has no re respect for himself, and she has no respect for him. And that's likely why she doesn't have respect for him, because he doesn't have respect for himself. <laughs> As a man, you don't take disrespect from women. You don't take disrespect from women. Her openly doing that, openly talking to dudes. He even knew that she talked to people on the internet. What type of fuck shit is you on, man? No. That's insane. It ain't even about the even though it's a ton of money. A ton of money. So I guess it is about the money, too. She's a quarter mil. But to me, it's not even the money. It's the disrespect. And the fact that you still want to talk to this dude. She's sitting up here like, oh, yeah, I still want to meet him. Why you want to meet this man? That is all grounds for a divorce. I'll leave that bitch in the house, her and her cat, taking feet pics. The cat could be the photographer. <laughs> I'll let you and the cat, I'll let the cat be the photographer, taking all your filthy feet pics. You filthy motherfucker. Salute to you from downtown. That's some bullshit, bro. That's some bullshit. I'll leave her and the cats. Salute to, um, what is that, MPH? I can't see the uh, MPH. Welcome to Death Rose. Appreciate you. MPH, new member. Salute. All right, let's get on. Let's finish this off. <laughs> this whole situation, where does this leave you and your marriage with your husband? Um, we've talked, um, obviously, about all of this. And right now, Brian is pretty cool about everything. He's still in it for the long haul, just like I am. So... I mean, to be honest, I think you're lucky to have uh, oh, him I, for sure. I know I am. I'm not. I'm not blinded by that by any means. I know I am extremely lucky to have him, <laughs> um, and that he's um, stood by my side through all of this. Um, I just now need to um, work on myself um, <laughs> and um, figure out why I did the things that I did. Because um, you're a whore. Um, I let him manipulate me and 
everything. We did two cooks. We did and why I, I let myself go like that. I have no idea. Well, we all make mistakes. Um, we do want to say that we appreciate you um, for <laughs> opening up about your story and just being so transparent about Welcome your to life death with row. your husband. Hopefully someone out there is, you know, that's going through something similar as you um, is able to watch this video and see your story and they're able to pull themselves out of their situation. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Sarah blocked John after this interview. She filed a police report the following day, and we are submitting a KYC request. There's it's a KYC. high chance that we are able to go after the people that scammed her out of money. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Remember, all of our new videos go out every Wednesday. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, yeah, this channel is called Catfish. I tell you, I just found that content, and I love it. I love it, love it so much. Oh, um, what you got, Woke Will? The still will not. Woke Will, I shouldn't even fuck with you, Woke Will. He tell me old girl was in, well, old girl was in Floyd Tree. You filthy motherfucker. The still live now. Title says two days till she go to, okay, the stud is live now. Title says two days till she go to court. If someone break down that live, I'll send it. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. So y'all let me know, man, y'all like the catfish. And then other thing I had was this. This is not even like, that was like light work on part of the catfish story. I got one that's great, but I think we have to break it down in like two parts. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in one sitting, but there's a woman in Nebraska, older white woman in Nebraska who has been been catfishing or been catfished and been sending a dude money. Y'all, she's been catfished and has been sending a dude that she's never met money for how long, Coop? How long, Coop? Eight years, bruh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? The, yo, they start uh, the do better cut cat. <laughs> Who said this shit? <laughs> what, was it a scam or did he sell her a story? Um, I mean, I think it's a. I think it was well, definitely a scam. I think it's. I think it's actually both. But the new, the one that we need to watch is the chick has been sending this dude money for eight years. They have her on once, prove that this dude is catfishing her. And then she comes back on it. Long story short, this is some uh, racist. I may say she's racist. She doesn't believe in interracial couples. This woman who's been sending money to this dude for all these years, only to find out that the motherfucker who's, who she's been sending the money to, the actual scammers from Nigeria, <laughs> makes it even better. Just eight years, Coop. And she racist, too. She's like, I don't think interracial couples should exist. And then they find out and go off on her like, bitch, the dude you're sending money to is African. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets great. Oh, it gets great, man. I appreciate everybody for rocking with your boy today. Make sure y'all share the content. Hit the like button on the way out. Let me make sure I didn't miss any super chats. I appreciate everybody. Salute to my moderators. My moderators are the officers amongst the ranks. Salute to the replay gang. These people are making careers out of this crap. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to see that. I, I got to play that one, man. She's talking. She was just, she's kind of dumb. But she kept talking about, she kept bringing it up like randomly, how like she doesn't believe in like interracial uh, relationships and I don't think she's the biggest fan of black people. And then when they found out, her scammer was in Nigeria, bro. Bang! Bang! It's good! Glorious. Woo! Woo! I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. I will be back at it on Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Make sure I didn't miss any more Super Chats. Salute to the MPH for joining the squad. Salute to this homie South 343 six-month channel membership. He says, if the shoe's on the other foot, she would be mad. Facts, bro. You're goddamn right. That's what I'm saying, man. And it's, it's again, man, the husband. I just think he's a dude with no backbone, but every man is not gonna be every man is not gonna be masculine. Every man, every man isn't worth leading either. It isn't worth following. Because every man is not a leader, bro. It's just some men who just don't have a backbone, man. They just gonna take everything that's given to him, man. It's sad and unfortunate. And I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this right now. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. I appreciate everybody rocking with your boy today. I'll be back at it on Wednesday. I need you guys to do two things. First thing I need you guys to do. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me, goddammit. I'll say it again. Acknowledge me. And last but not least, salute to our show sponsor, the Rough Hands Podcast. Ah! It's Salute good. to you, bro, for the $100 bomb. We'll be back at it on Wednesday. Sad, sad, sad. We had two cucks in a row. Mm. Hate to be them. Do better squadron. Fall out. Go back to work, y'all. Do, do some work. Ignore.
acknowledge me, goddammit! What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> acknowledge me. Take us home, cuz. Ha <laughs> ha!